Here we go! I need everyone to sit up straight. Put your feet on the floor. I want to get a pause up on our ready, ready. Sit. Rule 42. Mike, Mike, Mike. Ready, ready, pause up. Hey, everybody, I'm Jose Grande Gato. Also known as the Big Cat. My cool cat, put your paws up if you're rocking with the Big Cat. Trending news here. The Carolina Panthers sign Bryce Young's daddy, DJ Wanham. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> here we go. We got Bryce Young's daddy on the team, DJ Wanham. <laughs> well, all jokes aside, if you don't know why I'm saying that, please go look at the Vikings game from last year, okay? Before I go any further in what this means here, I want to say shout out to the sponsor of this episode, which is the Better app. Why not do Daily Fantasy better? The good old folks at Daily Fantasy app Better have a special deal for you guys. It's called the No Better Sweater Deal. All first-time users that use my link that's in the comment section and also in the description, if you make a deposit up to $250 and you miss on your first slip, well, guess what? They'll give you your money back. Sounds like a win-win situation. Now, how does it work? You simply choose between two and six players and whether or not they'll go over or under the projected number. For example, if you guys took Kevin Durant, right now he had 15 points in the first quarter, okay? His goal is to go over 28, so you guys will be looking good. So you pair that with another person, or you pair that up with the six picks, and you guys could be walking away with some significant amount of money here. Last week, I played a ticket. I won over two grand. All right, simply by choosing whether or not a guy will have a good night or a bad night in sports. Why not do Daily Fantasy better with the Better App? Please click the link in the description and also in the comment section. You must make a deposit in order for it to count, okay? Shout out to Chef Thomas Dickerson. All my game cock coming home. We lit, baby. XL. Shout out to Chef Thomas Dickerson. Yes, sir. Chef, I got something to tell you, too. I think I'm falling in love with Xavier Leggett. I think, I, I think I'm falling in love with Leggett here. I, you know, I just... I'm starting to see green. <laughs> yeah! Man, I got to tell you about this, man. Before we go too far into that here, I want to say this. Shout out to... The front office. I'm honestly humbled. I think they're listening. I think they're listening to what I had to say. And and and, and speaking of listening, shout out to the homie Charles Johnson. Charles Johnson showed me love on the Instagram, on a on a little little reel I put out there. It, it's good when when the players, first of all, legendary, Hawkinsville High School. Carolina Panthers legend Charles Johnson showing love. So it's good to know that players and former players, they watch your content. Not to say that I'm better than the next man, but I just say I have something to say. And when I'm able to have my words fall on people who matter, that, that means a lot to me. You know what I mean? So shout out to the players, the current players, and the former players that listen, and they show that love, man. So thank you for that. And I think the front office is listening because I told you guys. I'm not saying I'm the only one. I don't want to sit up here and say, give me my credit. I don't want to say that, okay? But what I will say is this. I told you that this, this defense, in order to replace Brian Byrne, you're going to need a group of edge rushers. Didn't I not say this? I said this a couple of days ago. I said this before the start of free agency. To replace Brian Burns... You're going to need a group of guys. Shout out to the homie Marquise Haynes as well. Now you're bringing DJ Wanham. And now you're probably going to have to bring another, maybe another one and probably draft one. These guys are looking, man. Shout out to Chris Gregg. He said, we know they're watching facts. I, these guys are listening. <laughs> I, I, I got to say this. I ain't. Like, 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 I, 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 oh, man, I'm so excited. My mood has changed. And for a long time, in a while, man. I got to say, I'm proud to be a Panther fan. I know it's the offseason. We go through the cycle where we get hyped up before to get let down. But I'm going to choose to spend my offseason celebrating what they're doing. I recognize game. And I think we're finally in the hands of a competent general manager and Dan Morgan. 
I know I spoke ill of him in the past, saying that, you know, he ratted on Scott Fitter. I said a lot of miscellaneous and miscuitous things about him, but there's proof in the pudding, and I think we're in good hands. These guys are taking the group-like approach. You're replacing Brian Burns with a guy who, in 2021 and 2023, both of those seasons where he was a full starter had eight sacks. And if it wasn't for a quadricep tear, this guy probably goes over 10-plus sacks. Did you hear what I said? This guy probably goes over 10-plus sacks if it wasn't for a quadricep tear. So... They're, they're listening, man, and I thank you, the organization. Thank you for taking that approach. And shout out to Luke Combs. This is why I was telling guys like Luke Combs, you got to shut up if you don't know what's going on. Because when you know the game of football, although you may love a star player, there's a method to the madness in making this team efficient. Okay? You got to make a dollar stretch. You can tell who been on the, You can tell who had five dollars to eat off the dollar menu, and you can tell somebody who's been eating steak their whole life. You can tell that kind of person. Because a person on, on a dollar menu can take $5 and make a whole meal. Two McChicken, one cup of water, and one McFry. You know what I mean? And that's what we got to do right now. But we're actually getting great value. If you don't know what's going on, just sit back and shut up. Don't speak out and call people out. So I, I respect what Morgan is doing here. It's it's by committee. Nobody's going to cry if DJ Wanham comes in here, has seven sacks. Marquis Haynes has six sacks. Whoever else we bring in, have another five sacks. Nobody's going to cry, right? Who the hell is going to cry if four or five different guys got six, seven, eight sacks and we're winning? So control your emotions, put your tampons back in, plug them up, get the maximum absorbency, and sit back and let these boys cook. And that's exactly what they're doing. We're getting a solid edge rusher, and if it wasn't for his injuries, probably wouldn't even be, we, we probably wouldn't even have a chance at him. Shout out to this front office. They're cooking, man. They're cooking. Now, last year, again, he got hurt. He graded out as a 62.3 overall. He graded out at 68.6 against the run and 56 against the pass, okay? Now, again, I caution you to, you know, before you start booing in the chat, this guy was hurt, all right? And just to show you why I call him Bryce Young's daddy, when he played the Carolina Panthers in week four, his overall defensive grade was at 81.5. All right, 66 against the run, 76 tackle grade, 61.7 rush grade. He had a 91.2 coverage grade, which also led to a pick six. <laughs> okay, shout out to Bryce Young's daddy, DJ Wanham. I'm loving this. Ba 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 ba. I'm loving this. I'm loving this, man. And I think we just got to sew it up just a little more. Just a little more. You know what I mean? Can't get a, real quick, real quick, quick. Can I get a letter cook in the chat? Can I get a let them cook? Come on. We, we, I, f I forgot to do that just tonight. Can I get a let them cook in the chat? Hit the like button. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. And while you're doing that, let me get let him cook. Because that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing, okay? One of my favorite videos on YouTube is when this guy, he brings up um, ordinary food. He brings it up to his chef. He said, yo, chef, can you make me a meal? And the, the guy usually comes up to him with some cheap-ass food. He usually come up with, like, Burger King or something. He said, yo, chef, can you make me a meal? And he gives the guy the food. He takes a $5 meal, and he makes a gourmet meal. This is a real thing. Go look out on YouTube. That's what Dan Morgan is doing. He's taking $5 meals, turn them into gourmet. Now, last I heard, man, Chase Young came in, and Chase Young came out. Was no deal. I heard uh, Clowney is, is serious in, in being a player. But at the end of the day, whether or not we get those guys or not, I got to say we're off to a great start. And I'm loving it. And, and I can't be negative about it. I can't be negative about it. See, <laughs> a lot of you guys, you're, you're looking at what we had in Brian Burns and Luke Keekley and Christian McCaffrey, okay? That's gone. The, the, yesterday is gone. You, you'll never get that back again. So what, what I'm telling you is this right here. I'm appreciating what my front office did given what we came from. Yes, I know we sabotaged the Brian Burns deal. Yes, I know we sabotaged the Christian McCaffrey deal. Yes, it hurts. Yes, Cam Newton was, uh, was not protected. Whatever you want to say, fine. Given all of that and what we come from, we have done 
quite well for ourselves. If you would have told me at the end of the season last year, this team would have Deontay Johnson on it, that we would have DJ Wanham on it, that we would turn around and, and actually have two second-round picks, early second-round picks. And in case you guys don't know, I believe the Falcons and the Philadelphia Eagles, because they were tampering, they saying that the Philadelphia Eagles were tampering with Saquon Barkley, and they're also saying the Atlanta Falcons were tampering uh, with um, Kirk Cousins. I'm hearing that they're about to lose first-round draft picks. I don't know how true this is. Somebody quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. But if that happens, that pretty much means that the talent that's there is going to slide at least one or two steps backwards right into our laps. Man, my father can't be so good. <laughs> my father can't be so good. <laughs> Sweet Caroline. Oh, oh, oh. I'm in a great mood, man. I've been in a great mood these last couple days here, man. I don't I don't know what it is here, but I can see clearly now. You know, a lot of people are talking about Scott Fitterer. It's like, you know, I, I, and again, I hate to say, give me my credit. I hate to be that guy. We already got one of those. But I will say this. I, I, I called out Scott Fitterer way before it was popular to do it. You know that. I know that. Come on now. It's on tape. But to see how quickly that these guys are putting together. Uh, listen, listen. I'm honestly thinking this team can compete for at least seven to eight wins. Now, I don't know if that's enough to make the playoff. Hell, I don't even know if that's enough to win the division. But given where we come from, you got to say that's a drastic change. And that definitely inspires change and hope for the future. We can't get greedy now. I don't want us to be greedy now and say playoff, playoff, Super Bowl, all that stuff. I, I, I want you to get this out of your guy. I want you to listen, listen, listen. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. I got a list. I stutter. Blame God. Don't blame me. I, I, so if I stutter, it's not, you know, anyway. Look, I want you guys to get to, uh, to the point to where you're appreciating the little things. Anybody who reads the Bible, the Bible says despise not small beginnings. That means don't disrespect or dismiss the little things that matter. And the little things that matter is a team. That went from 2 and 15 or 3 and 15, whatever you want to say, will now probably be formidable enough to be competitive to where in the future you have something to build on. It's all about building on something. And I got to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to jump out the window here. If it clicks like I think it could click, I won't be surprised these boys sneak into the playoff. Every year it happens. Every year. Right now, the Falcons are the hot team. Everybody's saying that they're going to make the playoff, they're going to win, yada, yada, yada. You know, and, and I kind of agree with them. But anything can happen, man. Anything can happen, dog. I'm telling you that now. Do not sleep on these Panthers. I think the Falcons, you know, it, look, Kirk Cousins hasn't have a, he hasn't had a, he hasn't have a history of staying healthy. From what I'm hearing, the Saints are probably going to go after Michael Penix. You never know if Baker Mayfield is going to have a sophomore slump. They just lost Devin White to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. They just lost Phil They just lost another piece of linebacker. I'm telling you guys, I can feel it in the air. And no, I'm not Beanie Siegel, but I can feel something brewing. It's almost like, have you ever seen like a storm is about to come? You're like, man, I can, I can feel it, man. <laughs> I can feel. It. <laughs> yo, bro, my attitude. Yo, I told you, I don't know what's going on with me. I think I might have had a lobotomy or something, but my attitude has changed. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm still seeing Panther fans cry and stuff. Hey, man, these moves stupid, man. These moves stupid, man. All right, well, you can stay over there. I'm not going to do that. What I'm saying is I, I can see something building, okay? And, I, and again, please don't, please don't quote me to this. I'm not going to sit here and say we're a Super Bowl team or a division winning team. I just want you to say we're a team that's going to be formidable to, to to making a change at winning. I don't know how many games we will win. I'm looking at possibly six, seven, eight wins if we do it right. But it wouldn't surprise me if we sneak in with a nine-win season. You see what I'm saying? A ten-win season. I don't know. I don't know. But this move right here, DJ Wanham, don't, don't disrespect Brian Burns, okay? Because I know a lot of you guys – He's gone now, and a lot of you guys are making fun of him. And I, I get that, you know, you guys didn't want to pay him and stuff like that. That's your prerogative. I can't, you know, I can't stop you from feeling that way. But 
please don't be disrespectful to the man. You know what I mean? The guy was here. He did what he did. He's not longer here. Don't sit here and say, we got a cheaper uh, uh, Brian Burns, da 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 You know, from a, from a production standpoint, if you look at it, you know, they pretty much were on the same pace. They pretty much had the same pace. You know what I mean? Him and DJ, I mean, him and Brian Burns. But the only difference is he had eight sacks and he got hurt. He had a quadricep tear. If he stay healthy, he probably exceeds Brian Burns. But that also means he's not signing with us today. So don't compare this guy to that. That's sucker shit. Don't ever compare another man. That's that sucker shit. Come on, let's not do that, okay? End of the day, I like what we're doing. I like what the front office is doing. We're not done yet. And we're making a dollar go far. We're, we're making a dollar go far here. We're bringing guys in that can prove it. Guys that have experience. I'm starting to think teams, players are wanting to come here. Some players don't want to come here. Yeah. If, if I look at this offense right now, I still think we need a running back here. I'm not really sold on that running back room. I like Chubba Hubba. I think he made leaps and bounds. We need at least one more solid running back. I would like to see one more solid tight end. And let's go get our receiver in the draft. So I'm not really tripping off receiver right now. Let's go get our receiver in the draft. We got cornerback from Buffalo Bills here. Okay, mediocre move there. But, hey, I'll let it ride. What we're doing with the edge rushers, you got uh, Asha Robinson up front next to Derek, uh, Derek Brown. I like what we're doing here. We got quality depth and um, Marquise Haynes. Shout out to the homie. You got uh, DJ uh, Wanham coming in here now. Get at least one or two more edge rushers. I see if we can go out here. If we can snag a Chase Young, I'm not really high on Clowney. I know a lot of you guys are high on Clowney. But, you know, if you want to get him, I wouldn't be mad at that mood either. And also, we could turn around and draft another edge rusher. I love what they're doing in Carolina. Shout out to PFF. They put out a poll earlier today, and they said uh, uh, the top teams that have an A in free agency. And I'm looking across the landscape, and the Carolina Panthers wasn't up there. And I was so saddened. I'm like, these so-called columnists and these so-called podcasters, you guys are discounting the moves that we're making. I'm loving the moves that we're making because we're not po we weren't supposed to make them. That's why I'm loving these moves. So you can look at the glass half full. You can look at the glass half empty. I'm going to choose to look at the glass half full. The Panthers had no business sniffing around, sniffing around half these players we got, let alone two stud guards, you know what I mean, two above average guards, you know what I mean, quality depth on the D-line, quality depth on the edge rusher, a star wide receiver, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. How could you not give Carolina A? These guys have made moves out of nothing. You know what I mean? If you go back, and I hate to hate to make it too, and I'm not gonna stay on this topic too long. But when you when you go back and you look back in the early 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 years of, of America, you know there was a certain group of people they weren't allowed to get the they weren't allowed to get the good parts of the chicken, or they weren't allowed to get the good parts of the pig. So they gave them intestines, and they gave them all the grimy goodies. That, but guess what we did? We were so innovative, we took those parts and we made a meal out of them. And that's what we're doing right now, man. That's what we're doing right now. With little or nothing, we're surviving, and um, I appreciate that approach. You either get busy living or you get busy dying, and right now I think we're trying to put together a lively organization here, and I respect that so much. I, I'm actually moved, and I'm actually proud to be a Panthers fan, okay? Now, I'm like you guys too, man. I got money invested. I got, listen, I got $100. Uh, I got a couple hundred dollars uh, worth of autographed jerseys, uh, 500 here for, Helmets and I got all this stuff too, man. But at the end of the day, none of that stuff mattered to me if I could see my team win. You know what I mean? You know, granted, whatever the name is on the back of the jersey. And I got to say, for once, going into free agency, I don't feel cheated. I don't feel like we've been cheated, man. I honestly felt like, shout out to uh, Morgan, shout out to Canales. I honestly felt like those those guys listening in the front office. I think those guys are honestly giving the college try a great effort here. And I think that they're making the most out of something. And I think we're going to be rewarded for that. We're going to be rewarded for that. I think these guys are going to be competitive, man. I think we got guys that can come out here to selfless. You know, they're not guys that's worried about their, 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 their you know, their individual stats or, you know, their, you know, their, their commercial money, whatever. They're, these guys just want to play ball. You know what I mean? They're hungry. Not only that, you got a great coach in Dave Canales, a, a player's coach. Somebody that's going to be out there with you. Somebody that's going to understand you. Most importantly, he's young. He's innovative. He's up to date. 
It's, there, there's no gap when it comes to relationship. Half the battle when coaching your players is relationships. Don't you know some of the best teams in the NFL, the coaches have great relationships with their players, not just from a, 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 a coach-player relationship, but from off the field. They feel comfortable around you, you know what I mean? They can tell you what they see, you know what I mean? They adapt. The players adapt to what the coach say and the coach vice versa. If the player says, hey, man, I'm seeing this out here, man. Although you called this play out here, I'm seeing something different, man. Can we try this? Da, da, da. Those what good coaches do. They give and take. They give and take. That's what great coaching is about. And I think we got a good one, man. And I'm excited, man. Let's go, man. I'm excited. I'm excited about the pieces here. I'm excited about the future. And I told you, man, I don't know what's going on, man, but my mind is my mind has been changed. And I know a lot of you guys, you make fun of me because Big Cat stay flip-flopping. Ha, ha, ha. Funny, funny, funny. But I got a good feeling here. Again, don't know how many wins we'll get. Not year one. But I'd rather have long-term sustained success versus a one-year spark. Does that make sense? Long-term success over a one-year spark. And um, shout-out to DJ Juan. And welcome to the crew, man. And uh, I look forward to seeing uh, what else we're going to do here. Our phone line is open, 678 678- 882-4692. Call in. Weigh in, man. I'm interested in hearing from the people tonight. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, smash that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I want to hear from you guys. And also, I'll, I'll read some questions in the comment while we wait for the phone to ring. But, uh, yeah. Good day as usual, man. Shout out to Brother Fade, too, man. Brother Fade hit me up. He said, the people must hear from you. Well, I'm here, brother. I honor your word. I honor my word, man. So, thank you for that donation earlier, okay? <clears throat> Shout out to Baheem Bass Angler. He said, I think Clowney will play his best ball with Carolina and his home team from the Carolinas. Facts. Yeah, I'm not really high on uh, Clowney, but I think he's a solid veteran, and I think he'll give us enough. You know what I mean? Um, like I said earlier, shout out to Dan Morgan. Shout out to the front office. I think they're finally getting it. I think it's a committee, you know? And that's the reason. That's that's probably one of the only reasons why I like Clowney. We're not bringing him in here to, to rely on him to get us 15 sacks. The days of us trying to put all our stock in the Brian Burns, put all our stock in the Luke Keekley, put all our stock in the one player, those days are gone. Those days are gone. You know, shout out to Luke Combs. Luke Combs came on yesterday and was crying about I miss Luke Keekley and Brian. I mean, I miss Luke Keekley and those days are gone. I want equality across the board. When I look at this defense, I shouldn't say, hey, if such and such is not out there, we're in trouble. If such and such on this part of the ball, is, it, we're in trouble. When you play the Carolina Panthers, from top to bottom, to front to back, no matter who's out there, I should say there's a tough outing. Oh, you're going to have a tough outing when you play the Carolina Panthers. That's the team I used to be proud of. I used to be proud of. The Carolina Panthers defense was immaculate from top to bottom. It didn't matter who wasn't out there. First, second, third string. Not big name player, big name player. We got to get big name. Last get equality across the bar as far as talent. I don't care what school you went to. You can went to fuckhead state. I don't care. If you can ball, you can ball. I don't care if you run a 4-3 or if you run a goddamn a 4-6. If you can ball, you can ball. I don't care if your mama, I don't care if your daddy was um, Steve Atwater or not. You know what I mean? Your dad could have been a garbage man. But if you can ball, you can ball. That's the players I want on my team. Enough with this big name overrated hype stuff. I don't care about that. I want dogs. I want dog mentality. If you don't know what a dog mentality is, dog mentality is somebody who went to bed hungry. Because they, they didn't have the money to feed themselves. That that kind of hunger. When you when you experience that kind of hunger, you ain't got no money in your account. <laughs> and your be, you go to bed hungry, that, that's the kind of hunger I want on this team. Not big name, celebrity name. Oh, we, we got Superstar Jones out here. Uh, yeah, hopefully he stays healthy. I don't want to deal with that. Let's get dog across these boards. Let's do it by a committee. I don't need one of the big name edge rusher. Give me five average edge rushers that can produce. I don't need one big name receiver. Give me a bunch of quality receivers that can produce. I don't need one big name cornerback. 
Give me five cornerbacks that can produce. Average quarterback that can produce. They ain't got no big names. They're not going to sell out NFLshop.com. Give me players that are hungry. And I'll show you a man that's ready to win. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Oh, boy, let me come in there and hype them boys up. <laughs> let me come in there and hype them boys. Right, it's going to be a good year, man. Enough with the big names. Oh, Cam and Brian and the quick, quick, enough of that. Shout out to Earl Lockler. You right, big cat. You right, cook, homie. Yeah, well, he's cooking. He's cooking, man. He's cooking, man. All I'm saying is give him a chance to fail. Before you speak against what's going on, Give them a chance to fail. My point is this, man. <laughs> you may not understand what's going on. That's okay. Because not everybody can see the game like most people. You know, you know, myself and other people can see it. You may not understand what's going on. But don't speak against it. Just shut up and sit back. Sit back. There's nothing wrong with being quiet. That's a lot of people. It's humility and being quiet, okay? There's understanding and being quiet. There's peace and being quiet. Don't speak against it if you don't know what's going on. But I see it. Shout out to Chris Griggs. I think um, Chris Griggs, uh, I think I said something to him a couple of days earlier. And I said, man, I'm starting to see what they're doing. And I think he said he's starting to see it too. I'm starting to see what they're doing. And what they're doing is they're listening. They're building this thing up by committee. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I see what they're doing. They're fortifying the walls. That's what they're doing. Yep. Backup starters, rotational pieces. You know what I mean? There's not going to be a gap. There's not going to be a drop-off. There, there ain't going to be a drop-off because Brian Burns not here. Bring in, bring in four guys with eight sacks apiece. You know what I mean? Start right there. Let's go to the phone line. Yo. Hey, Cat. What's good, bro? How you doing, brother? <coughs> I'm doing straight, dog. I can't, I can't complain, my friend. I can't complain. I really can't. How you feel about this move today? Nah, man. Um. Nah, man, yeah, yeah. Like I said, man, we can find we can find eight sacks a season. We can find it. We can find it. It's, I mean, it's not it's not that difficult. It might be a little bit more difficult. I mean, but motherfuckers over here, they just got some sort of affinity for this motherfucker. Like, what? What did he show you that made him a top five pass rush in this league? He hasn't really shown nothing. Like, he's not that dude, bro. But we can't find eight sacks a season through draft and through free agency. We can find that. If, if, like you said, if we get six from, if we get five or six from Haynes, uh -huh. Wanu, we get we get two or three from Burns or Brown. I mean, we'll be straight, bro. Yeah. We'll be straight. Okay. Defense. The yeah. defense is. We're building the defense up, and um, we're going to draft a lot of defense this year too, bro. I mean, I don't think we're going to be, like, all offensive draft like some people are saying. I think we're going to be mostly defensive draft like this. So we're just putting the places in, in peace so that we will be able to go heavy defense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up with y'all, man? This is Lil Baby. Lil Baby, how you living, G? I'm good, man. I'm good, my guy. I'm good, man. Good. Like, you yes, actually opened up the phone lines at a good time. My baby kept crying. So, you know what I'm saying? Daddy do this call first. That's but, right, hey, man, I ain't going to hold you long. But I might be here for, you know what I'm saying, fun time, not a long time. But let me tell you, though, on what you said about, you know what I'm saying, we want dog mentality people. Yeah. For everybody that's listening to this, show, I want you to understand one thing. When Frankie Louvu came to us, no one knew him. No one really knew who he was, what he could really do. That's a great point. That's and when you speak on, like, oh, we need these dogs, we built the dog. That's a good point. All right? That's I want y'all to remember this shit now, all right? Y'all say, Brian Burns this, Brian Burns that, but yet, Frankie Louvu stood out more than Brian Burns last year. That's a good point. Good point, man. We made, yeah. we made Frankie Louvu. Oh, y'all want to keep Shaq Thompson, years. but Frankie Louvu was better than Shaq Thompson. Oh my bad. Hold on, hold on. I'm searching some of y'all souls. I'm about to take y'all to church right quick. Hold on, let, let me let me really cook for you right quick. Let me let me let y'all understand this. There's so many people that's in late draft picks that have became number one picks that should have been number one picks. 
It's people. That's a good point, Lou, baby. Yeah. You ever heard of the saying, if you ever see me in a fight with a bear, help the bear? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. Hold on. Let me say that again. Have you ever seen, hear the saying, if you ever see me fighting a bear, help the bear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These <laughs> niggas that's in this job, bro, they trying to cook. They really want to cook. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, I met Jeremy Chin last year. No, no, year before last. Bro, my favorite player of all time. And I, and I say that because I genuinely met him and had a conversation with him. Matter of fact, it was in the time he had his, um, he pulled his hamstring. Genuine person. I love who he is as a person and a player. Dedication. But I don't give a fuck about no big names. I, I really didn't give a fuck if we had Chase Young or not. It, it wasn't going to make a difference for me, honestly. I really didn't care. I looked up his um his stats. Well, he, he only averaged 2.3 sacks for the whole year. I, I mean, well, if, you if ain't I, look at this stuff. But like, tell you right my, my my thing is this. If we get Jadavion Clowney, all right, that's great. I, I love it. I, I love Jadavion Clowney as a player anyways. I love that move. Bro, but why do day, want him? If... If we can continue to get these picks, bro, like if we can continue to pick, pick these people up, get a little bit more picks here and there, all right, bet, let's do it. Because the move for Dante, Deontay Johnson, we really sold that deal, to be honest. That's a steal. Because mm -hmm. Dante, that was a steal. Jackson, that was, Dante that was a steal. Jackson, he, 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 like, bro, like, he get burnt anyway. He's on the I downside. Play, but, oh, well. We didn't, bro. You got to down. You got to down climb. Right. No, no, no. The only thing I'm gonna say about all of this, and, and this is my only concern, like okay. Down climb, but yeah, more, more, more picks than anybody else. Yeah, that, that, that's cool, but like, see, you, you get burnt climb, on bro. big plays, though. You get burnt on big plays. <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm looking at big plays. I don't give a fuck about how many picks you average. Can you stop this man, though? He's productive. Anyways, I, I, I'm gonna continue to say this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I, I'm gonna know the fuck out of what you just said, my guy. I'm gonna say this. All right, hey, my, my, my bad, my bad. Did those picks help us get to the playoffs? All right, then. So I'm gonna say this because yeah, no, I helped him out get get somewhere else. It helped, he helped out with his stats. Did it help us out as an organization? No, not at all. Exactly. Now you see what I'm trying to say, right? No, right. All right, listen, it's like... all right cool. I'm just saying. We can bring in old cornerback and get the same. Look at Troy Hill. You just signed him. I'm just saying, though, he was here last year. He did better than Dante Jackson. Right? Yeah, he could have signed somebody else, though. Anyways, like, 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 like I said, I'm move on. Anyways, main topic, anyways, I love this signing of the day. Um, DJ, I feel like he's going to do great with us. You know what I'm saying? I can't say he's going to do great because I haven't seen him in, you know, the formation with us on defense playing against a real game. But I, I hope, you know what I'm saying, this defense this year ball out. For the offense, bro, I love what we're doing. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, we can still get one more piece if we can. But, like, my only big concern is, like, I see these big contracts we're giving free agents. When we're going to make our time for Derrick Brown? And, and, and that's the only thing I want to know. Mm -hmm. right, that's the only thing I'm waiting to truly see because – Obviously, yes, we got to get these pieces and then worry about pieces we got. But, like, what is Derrick Brown demand on his contract? What does he want? That's well, what he's I still on those fifth year option. I know, but, I like, I want to get still, paid, though, bro. But I'm, still, but, but I'm still saying, like, these contracts we bring in, I only seen, like, two contracts, one contract that was a one year deal. Everything else is three. So if nothing he's, goes, he's not Chris Jones. Nothing he's goes not Chris well. Jones, but he's not Chris Jones. But the way these, these tackles have been getting paid, bro, he's gonna he's gonna demand. It's pretty pretty good. Good. Same thing as this year. That's and what my, I'm trying my, to tell y'all. So, bro, my thing is this: like, if we know that he is going to demand something big, well, I'll be honest with you, and, and y'all, please don't be up what I'm about to say. I want y'all to tune me here. Mm. If we get another, if we get another opportunity like that, quote-unquote, two first-round picks for Brian Burns, if we get something like that for him, we kind of need to take that. At this Brother, point. We, we already hey, got hey. rid of Brian Burns. You said what? 
We got to talk about Derrick Brown. We're talking about Trey and Derrick Brown. No, I'm saying Derrick Brown. I don't want to lose him yeah. as a player, but like, right, big well, Derrick Brown, yeah. Like, he's like, going like, to get you, too. A while ago, bro, we in a rebuilding stage, and right now we can't really afford to sit here and give a big contract, and we got a lot of weak spots. Even though we fit to some of those spots, you got to look at long term. And if he's the man in the lot, bro, I'd rather sit down and get the best picks we can and just train somebody else up. Because best if you get the draft, bro, a lot of people are drafting people that they already got starting league players in, and they're letting that player play behind, and then they trade that player away, and then he step up and be another league player. That's a best case scenario. Derek like, Brown is that's still what people are for doing. another year. Like, he's but still I mean, for another year. And, and, and Big Cat, look, I, I think you let me come on back. That's all I truly want to say, man. I love what I'm seeing right now. Yes, Hope sir. everything progresses and continue to go good. But, like, you know, this is the press you're talking about. It's some bullshit. It's bound to happen somewhere. I just hope it ain't. <laughs> I hear you, man. I, you're right. I love, I love, yeah, I love, yeah, I hear you, too. But I, you. I went from saying, Bay, I'm not going to no games until when I seen this sign in today. Mm-hmm. I said, Bay, look, you got to go to at least two or three games this year. So yeah, Luke Combs was right. So what? We're not gonna win. We're not, we're not gonna win. We're not gonna win. We're not gonna win. We're gonna win at least five games. I'm gonna say what comes with it. I tune in to my nigga show to show him love and to speak what we speak about in this Panther. All right. Yeah, I got this. That that's what that is. All right. Because I don't even know who you is, but because I had to let you know who I am, I'm the baby guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be that. I know you are. I, got but, you. You know, I, got you. I just had to call my shit a little bit, get off my chest because I ain't <laughs> been coming on, bro. I got, I got a, I got a three month, bro. So, I mean, he be crying all the time. So I don't want to get up here and disrespect the show and all that. I, I, I rather stay respectful and stay the audience, bro. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I appreciate but, you for calling. Hey, man. Oh yeah, bro. Look, all love, uh, man. A big cat, bro. I'm, I'm waiting to see what games you go to, bro. Cause I got to meet up with that meet and greet, bro. Oh, we got to, man. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm see, bro. I gotta go there. I'm definitely going to a couple things. I, I went from uh, not going at all to where I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Put, put this down. Put this down. Uh, the Giants game. I'm going to make my way up there for the New York. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how, that's how I am, bro. Like I gotta go. I gotta go to at least one rival. And you know, I might go to two out of town, man. Me and the old lady might just have a little, you know what I'm saying, getaway. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Put, put, so, like, put me down for Tampa, the Giants. Go to Tampa, bro. They got a beautiful stadium. No, nah, no, fuck that. I gotta go to this Cowboy game because I got too so many family members as Cowboys fans, and I, I gotta go to that one. That that's a popular game for me and my family. Right. So I gotta go to that. But other than that, I might go to I might go to a Dirty Bird game at home. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to Atlanta. You know, no disrespect to Atlanta, but I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna stay home for that. <laughs> you afraid the game back down there? <laughs> He's right, definitely. But like, I mean, I, I, I'm a, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna know too far out games because, like, you know, what I'm saying it ain't worth spending that type of money yet. Facts, facts. You know, but I, I, I it's Tampa, bro. It's nice, and it's and then you be you got you know they got the beach, they got the bay over there, they got they got a lot of shit. You go to fuck and take the kid down to um, oh, Atlanta podcast. Oh. You, hold on, you, you said what? Huh? I said go to Tampa. You can, they got the bay over there. You can take your kid to Bush Gardens, or you can go to fucking Disney. Nah, bro, I'm gonna tell you, you know, about you the kids with me anywhere ever get into a football game. Until my son can tell me positions of on the team, I'm not taking him to no more games because of the fact he I spent a hundred and seventy eight dollars on a ticket for him to sleep in that chair the whole time. I'm not doing no more. Mm. Sorry, I'm not doing it. <laughs> call, call, call me selfish, but yeah, he'll be four this year. He do not understand. You're going you to be sleeping in the sun like that, though. Exactly. <laughs> like, I, I'd rather for me and my wife yeah, son. and that's it. Like, I'm not, I'm not, no. I can't do that, bro. I can't do it no more. Sorry. Hey, you know, that's, that's, hey, that's a nice little venue for your, your kid, man. So what? Just go walk around. Okay. Bro, all right, listen. We live in a economy today, my guy, where I'm not wasting money, all right? No, I'm not. We never take a kid to a football game. You always take a kid to a football game. He's a good way to football game. He goes. But, like, when it's football and I'm into it and I'm trying to drink a nice beer, so my wife already don't care for it. That's kid. You said what? That's you. You like that, but you got to think about your kids. 
Right. And they right. Want, I would never. I would never take. That. I would never take your kid to a football mm-hmm. game. Listen, I would never take your kid to a football game because there's too much shit that goes on in that shit, bro. Motherfuckers be fighting and cursing everywhere. Yo, big cat. I would never do that. Please forgive me for what I'm about to say, but I don't know who you are, bro. But like, I I don't really like you. You do know me though. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not, on the stage. Hey, no, like, it's like, it's like, it's like being cool, but right now it's I don't fake. fucking like you because one thing I don't like. No, that's fine. Like, I know. What I should and shouldn't do. But I, I, yeah. I know because I have, I have a kid, and it's just right, fun, yeah, and yeah, I do yeah, the yeah, same yeah, thing. But the day, but end of the day, I'm but, a man first. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm well, if you're a man, you should know that you can't come first. Yeah, right, and 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 did you not hear me when I said wherever he has to go, he fucking goes. Yeah. Oh, you didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> I did not hear that. So, 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 You're right. So, so, You're right. So, You're right. Let me put oh, you yeah. back. In your right. place. Let me put you back in your place before this shit go to a different level. Right, you sick. can't put me in my place. Cause, 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 oh my because, god! Cause, see, see, see where it goes. One thing, no, one thing Wait, I'm not man. gonna do is talk to another man about what I should and shouldn't do with no, my man. seat. See what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna but, go there. But then you're talking to me like, like that, oh, like I'm not so supposed to do internet, something. So when you at the meet and greet, we'll talk about that then. How about that? Okay. Well, hey. All right. You gonna yeah, be at the yeah, meet and yeah. greet? Oh, oh, cause it's gonna be there. Okay. Cause, cause, cause now you tell me what I should have. So what, 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 what are you gonna do? You gonna go to the meet and greet? Can, can I get a meet and greet? Can I get a sneak peek? <laughs> are you gonna go to the meet and greet? Can I get a speech? Because, because now, 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 now you... No, 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 because now you are sounding stupid. Why would no, you even say like, that? If like, you're going to do that, you why would you even like, say it? No, because you're acting like a bitch for what, bro? Like, you, come what, on, what, what, how, how, like, how? I, I, I ain't never been... Just never known I, I just, just like, told you... Like, you really... You I just to told you about my life, a little bit about it. A snippet about my life. Anyway, bro, yo, bitch, yeah, like I said, bro, these sound is bro, I'm loving them. I appreciate that, I ain't about to ruin your platform. No, no, do your thing. Dude, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> no, because like, like, bro, like, big cat, bro, know, bro big cat, this stupid. is like me telling you, like, what the like, fuck? Why would you even do that? I don't live in your house, nigga. Hmm. Nigga, I why would you? Why, why, why would you even say anything like that, though? Okay, because I was sitting here just having a general conversation. It's called making conversation. You got a fucking. All right, so I can't make a conversation either. Okay, nigga, did I, did I bring your kids up? Did I talk about what you said and I do with your kids? No, you you brought your kids up, and I brought my kids okay, up. What are you, what comment, are you talking about? I made a comment about it. Did you have to speak on? What are you talking about? <laughs> I can't. I can't make a comment about my kids. Are you crazy, nigga? You making a comment about my? Kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I I see where you at. All right. Exactly. All right. All right. So, I, I, mean, right. I mean, do you want to no, be no, 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 we ain't gonna argue no more. I, mean, I ain't arguing, nigga. You don't want to start it. Huh? I mean, because we want to get gangster about it. it. We can't. That's it. Yeah, yeah, That's it. Because yeah. you don't know me. Stop, stop talking about it. You. Just stop talking about it. <laughs> like, bro, don't act like no fucking. It's easy. It's easy. Like, like, I don't like no it's easy. Ass, it's easy. Like Just nigga. stop talking about it. All right. We don't like each other. That's it. All right. Yeah, that's what it is. And that's what keep, it ain't. keep it moving. Keep it moving. Mm-hmm. So why you still talking? I'm telling you to keep it moving. Nigga, I ain't got to keep moving all shit, cuz. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. <laughs> I got to keep moving all shit. Big Look. Man, let me know when you tired. I'll catch up. You some money to talk some more. Do your thing, brother. Dude, I'm enjoying this. Dude. <laughs> Come about mine, cuz. Like, you don't know me, bro. Look, look, cut, blood, you, you said all that. I said, what cut. is it? Man, don't argue with this dude, bro. Nigga, you, nigga, 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 you, you can cut to the mount. You can cut to the mount. Mm. What's up? Hey, bro, I ain't coming nowhere. Fred, you come, all right, you then, come nigga, to the mount, Fred? Fuck up with your bitch ass, then, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. like, nigga. Okay. You don't yeah. know me, and I don't know you. Mm. you don't, 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 don't speak on shit you don't fucking know about. Hey, bro. hey, 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 I'm chilling. Mm. Yeah, chill the fuck out, nigga. Who, who is you? Hit the fuck Who's out, you? nigga. Before Who's you become the bear, niggas gotta help your ass. Alright? Who is you? Like, 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 nigga, don't play, bro. Like, don't, don't play, bro. Cause you don't fuck it. Right, right. right. You don't fuck it. Fucking no. Like, I'ma say it again, nigga. I'ma say it again. Yo. Big cat. What's up, bro? Jeez. You a fucking genius. He is a genius. You done turned this shit. You done turned this shit into Jerry Springer. No, brother, brother, uh, brother Lou, Lou Baby had to put him in his place, man. <laughs> no, 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 no,
and, and this for anybody that's watching, female or male. If you say something, what you do with your child, I'm not going to tell you what the fuck you should do with your kid. Like, I, I don't do that. And me as a man first, that pay my own bills and raise my own kids. I'm married and, and I'm successful in what the fuck I do. 26 years old, got two businesses. Don't tell me how to raise my kids, bro. I, like, don't hey, ain't nobody so tell me how to raise your kids. Hey, that's bro. all I'm going to say. If, if you're that. not telling me, then just don't speak on it. I understand you know, that. Because, because, nah, 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 no, 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 no. We grew up in two different environments. You don't know me, I don't know you. So don't speak on some shit you don't nah, know. Right. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right about that. Hey, listen. Right. Exactly. So, no. You said you're 26. No, no, no. See, see that's when you that's when you disrespect me. When you say that, did I ever did I ever tell you to shut the fuck up? Did I did I ever tell you that? Did I? I don't care what you about, brother. I don't care what you about. Fuck alone, because you don't know me, bro. Like no, no, no. It's niggas like you, bro. It's niggas like you that think shit is a game and this shit become fucking reality. You get popped in your fucking. No, 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 no. Like what the fuck, bro? Like because niggas like bro, I called him this show. They had me a good little conversation. Stop. Oh well, so what is this Stop. rant about that you're talking about? <laughs> oh, oh well, you should always take your kids. So, like, don't nobody give a fuck, nigga. Hey yo, bro said he's 26 years old. Hey, I like, do this, huh? I'm gonna keep it a real. I'm gonna keep it stat with you. I'm about to be 38, my nigga, and you know, once you get to a point where you go get in your life and you go think to yourself about this day, I was yelling at a motherfucker I don't know, I ain't never gonna nah. see. And, and, and I don't even matter. And I Bro, you never gonna see this man. This nigga never gonna. Oh, y'all might even do. Y'all might see each other. Don't know who the fuck each other is. So it's like, bro, like you got nah, that stupid my, shit. My, my, my thing is this, though, G. My thing I is this. Worry, I respect what you saying. I respect it, and I hear you. Trust me. But as a man first. <laughs> Never tell me what I need to do with my chat. As a, as a man, you that can talk exactly, to me. That's as a man, exactly but so, you so, can so, talk so, to so, me. So, you don't so, gotta so, yell. So, you ain't gotta. No, no, no my thing is this. Though, my thing is this. He's telling this me. Is... He's telling me. He's telling me something right. But yet, you also need to take something from this too. You don't know who you talking to on the other side of that phone, on the other side yeah, of that that's box. That's true. So don't that's sit true. there and say something or suggest something about somebody kid and then big no, no. argue about it. Hey, listen, I, so, I didn't say nothing about you. So I just want to just put that out there. I, I learned this skill a long time ago. Personally, I don't take shit personal until it's personal. Uh, you don't. I'm sure you've never seen or know or ever go bump into this person. So if a motherfucker up here trolling or saying oh, some shit, yeah, he gonna be like, after me. You can't give that, so. shit that much energy, bro. Nah, well, he's gonna be after fucking me. Up your vibe and fucking up everything because you got to get you know your shit off about a motherfucker you never gonna see and if he walk past you tomorrow you're not even gonna know who the fuck dude is you see what i'm saying so hey, it's like hey, bro, hey. you never know who anybody is man. shit no mind bro hmm. like as it going you gonna fight the world you know what i'm saying but anybody that's has Andrew. control over you you know what i'm saying no, that's like, not Andrew. everyone everybody <laughs> That's Mr. West. <laughs> so, but listen, West, how you doing? Late, man, I just want to see what's fuck going on. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm, uh, how's everything with you guys? Hey, Mr. Man. Wesley, can you chill out for a minute, please? Mr. West, how you doing tonight, brother? Well, I came to say hello to everybody. Hey, Mr. West, how you doing, man? Uh, how you doing tonight, Mr. West? I'm doing all right. Well, we did. We had to turn this shit into love and hip hop. We <laughs> <laughs> weren't expecting that. Yeah, this shit can Big Cat could be refereeing this shit. He let his shit ride. <laughs> no, I, I want to know why <laughs> Big Cat did that to up. me. <laughs> why you do that to me, Big Cat? Do what to you? I feel you, Big Cat. Get why you, why you do that? Hey, look. Hey, Big Cat. Hey, yeah, yeah you're right. You're right there. So, uh, with that being said, yes, like I, I don't know what have y'all talked about at this point, but look. So where you think we're going on thirty third in the draft? What we gonna get? <coughs> we need it. I would like to get a fucking receiver, bro. Yeah, to be and if so, which one would you like to get? Yeah, exactly. And Xavier Leggy, I heard he's falling. Yeah. I heard Why him. is he falling? I, I like him. Too, no, no, I, don't, I just keep seeing fucking. I just keep seeing shit on the internet, man. It's saying he's falling, bro. I heard Xavier, um, Xavier Worthy, he's actually like 
he he didn't became a first round pick from what I've heard. Man, give oh. me Keon. I love Keon. Even though we don't have a first round, so what? So what? What are our options? Look. We got pick thirty third. That's what we talking about. Uh, thirty third and thirty nine. Yeah. And uh, what I, what I want to say is, like with the key, I, with the kid that just ran the four two nine. I mean, four two nine is cool. You ain't got no pass point, and you run a straight line speed. But when I see a man out physical, you when I see a man that look like he get on the edge and block, I'm sorry. corner yeah. and linebacker. When I see a man that got the ability to jump up and 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 grab deep passes and slants, so he can run the route tree. What are you talking like, about? Man? What are you talking I, about? I'm talking about my hey, baby. Yeah, Coleman. Oh, okay, okay. I see yeah, the swagger, yeah, Coleman. swagger in him and everything. That's what I yeah. want as one. He got but the swagger. I can say, I can say, first of, you, say you don't want just an X. You don't want just a Y. Who? You don't want just a slot. You want somebody that can do everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's who Keon Coleman is. He's he's a big yes, yes. run every route. If you ever see the week yet. We hope that if we, if, if, I hope they do whatever it takes to get this guy before before other teams will catch him because they will beat us to the punch. And they whatever player, well whatever player y'all like and that that did that that's in the draft. I hope hope we get this guy before these other teams do because they will beat us to the punch. Say, oh. No, Keon Coleman is gonna be there too. Keon, I'll be there. my my pick. Um, outside. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this nigga black. Yo, who's Here this, man? Who's this? There we go. This Keith Boy, big What's up? up? Man? How you doing, uh, man? Okay. <laughs> All right. Good to hear from That's you, different. man. Good to That's hear from you. <laughs> You if you gotta be here a long time to know where they come from. Yeah, facts, facts. <laughs> Having a great show here. We got a little bit of everything going on tonight, man. How you feel about this? Movie? Oh, oh, you talking about the DJ? Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, see, I don't know too much about them, so I mean, I said they always uh go in that little play that he got. Uh, you know, Bryce Strong when he scored the touchdown. That's well, all I see. Well, you say you don't know who he is. That's Bryce Dad. <laughs> That's a good thing, but we still but it's, it still needs more help in the defense. He's a pretty good defensive end. He's all right, man. Look, he's gonna if he wasn't hurt, man, he probably would have had yeah, more right. sex. Okay, okay, so he's solid. Yeah, he's, he's solid. Yeah, he ain't garbage. Okay, 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 okay. He can get it done. Yeah, he, he, get it done. Hey, he got Brian Burns numbers. Oh, you do? Oh well, shit, that's good to go then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got Brian Burns number, but he had he had an injury. He he, he probably would have had more than that. Yeah. If he, if he yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You're right. You're right. I, I was wondering, are any of y'all surprised that Brian Burns is gone? No. Any y'all surprised? No, not really. In a way, but uh, uh. I'm not surprised. Well, to me, I'm hard because even though he's worth it, they can't pay him. Too many holes. Uh, 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 uh. Well, look where he is now. He's in, he's in New York now. They they, they now they, they gave him a good contract. New York, oh, New York. Hey. New, York uh-huh. New York is doing some some things right now. I don't uh, know if you've been. Uh, well, they, they, they gave him an attention. offer. They gave him an offer and he took it. I don't know. If you've been yeah, paying yeah. attention. But yeah. Uh, everybody. I know. Y'all, I know you heard. Everybody really you. doing good. I know you heard that uh, Falcon quarterback got traded to, to Arizona. Uh-huh. Falcon quarterback. He might That's get some playing time. He might get some playing time. Over see how if, if Murray stay healthy, then he ain't gonna get no playing time. Man, if you if you gonna say something, say the name. Say what? Say the name. Who? Who got traded? You talking about Desmond Ritter? Yeah, he got okay. traded. He got Desmond really got traded to the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. He might he might get some playing time. Oh no, 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 brother. They're just trying to make it wait for uh, Kirk Cousins. I mean, they they should have did that though, cause anything happened to Kirk Cousins, valid backup. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he was gonna be a backup anyway. Then he another backup. So anything happened to Cousins, they'd be like, damn. I mean, I mean. So that means they're know. gonna draft somebody. They're gonna draft the quarterback. 
That's what I'm saying. They might as well kill him. No. Devin Devin Ritter is not as good as these other quarterbacks. But I yeah. mean, I guess they would be cheaper with a draft pick again. I mean, he been in the league with two, three years. Three. This was his third year, I think. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty um, sure it was the third. third year. But they after two years, they just traded him. They let him go. That was a big. Yeah. They were saying he might be the future and all that, but I'm like, hell no. Well, I guess they were wrong. Yeah. I also, I heard that um that former Niner he went to Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah, I seen yeah. We we, we should have got him. We should have got him instead of instead, instead, instead of Armstead. Yeah. He ain't gonna take Armstead. Well, uh, what's his name? Um, Eric. Um, Oh, buddy went to. Uh, I thought we were going. I heard something about uh, JVR Clowney was coming earlier today. Yeah, there's been a lot. There's been a lot, there's been a lot of misinformation. Well, well he there. came by to visit to see how it's going to work yeah, out. Uh, mm-hmm. We got old buddy, so it's over. You know, oh, old buddy man. went to Car- uh, South Carolina too. Yeah. Well, yeah, he yeah he did. He went to college in South Carolina. Yeah, uh huh. So I mean, well, they should have got him though. He it it it, it, it would a good help for the defense. It would help us help you. Like him and Cloudy? You want him and Cloudy? Yeah. Why not? That's two I people mean, that yeah, walked I mean, out of yeah. our facility. I know Cloudy ain't asking no for that much money. Well, how much money does he want? Does, does he want? Well, how, how many more? Yeah. I, I, they, the only thing, gave him, uh, they only gave DJ, what, 10 or 11 million? I don't know how much they gave. Something like that for a two-year deal. Something's going on, man. Well, see, if we would have got Clowny, it would help our defense. We 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 we. we it, 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 ain't coming same. here. It's not. That's what they got. Old buddy, DJ. He was, basically they feel like he was more productive or more. Yeah, no. Who DJ? All right, so they brought DJ it. What? What, what, so what's that go? What's what? So they're going to move Derrick Brown to the left side or the right side? Uh, I think Derrick Brown is getting traded. I'm gonna be honest Who? with you. Man, Derrick Brown. Man, come on, Fade. I just got up I here, did, man. I, 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 I don't want to say it. I just got up here, Fade. Damn, I've been up here five minutes and six minutes. He's still on a rookie contract. He's on a rookie contract. They're not he's going not to on a rookie contract. The West they on the, he on the 15th. He's 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 on the 15th. I, think, I don't know if you be trolling or not. Fade. I'm not trolling, bro. <laughs> Why is he saying I'm stuff like that? You. <laughs> he might get traded. I. Well, I we, just, tra- we traded Dante right. Jackson. We traded Brian Burns. They were they were our best players, and now, and now they're gone. Man, we, Dante not, Jackson was injury prone. He ain't one of no damn best. One of the best players, no. Well, they ain't cooked. got no draft picks for him either. Yeah, he was getting cooked. I mean, actually, you got a second. You got a second. Yeah, he did, he did. Next year. Third? What was that third? I said, it ain't, yeah. No, it was the fifth. And we know that's the situation. Crazy. And we know that's... the situation about Brian Burns, so it ain't... But that's just what, but that see that that's that's the that, see that's the that's the that's the whole other part because now now we got now we got to find a pass rusher that in the draft to replace Brian Burns and that that is hard, that's hard to get over that's hard to replace you said the way Brian Burns was taking four games he get a sack every four games shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. yeah but he was our leader I promise you, I'm not bad. worried about Brian what's Burns the point? Yeah, he, he was our captain. Then? When you, when, you, when you lose a when you replace a captain, it's hard to replace to bring, to bring in the next I one. I don't give a damn what the captain is. The captain on the field. If you want to take four games off to get another sack and get a uh, wait two games to get another sack, like what you doing, little lady? Yeah, damn. Hey, little lady. Come here. I tell you oh, now, what if Brian Burns go? go I tell you, if, if he take if, if he take oh, that dude, left you right here. playoffs and to the Super Bowl, he get a ring. He gonna be laughing at him. I like that. <laughs> hey, hey, Wes, you're a funny dude, man. You're a funny now, that dude. That can happen. That can happen, fellas. How you said it if he take him? What you mean if he take him? Like, he, like, he the quarterback or something like that. Like, like. <laughs> man, it's not happening, man. But then you what think, man, stop. Well, you never know. John's not even going to make the playoffs. What's the next season? 
Well, they did make the playoffs two years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they ain't gonna make it no more. It's over with. So and, that, and that was because of Saquon Barkley. But they take off Saquon Barkley shit. They ain't going to the damn playoff. And they, they ain't got him no more. Man. Yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. That, that was a big loss, though. That was a big loss. Yeah, it's a wrap. That's what I'm saying. He took them to the playoffs. Not damn uh, Jones. Not oh. because that, he was not the right quarterback for that team. They're going to draft a quarterback this year. I believe the Giants are going to draft a quarterback. They are. They are. I wouldn't be too sure. I wouldn't be sure about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> You think, you, think those, you think those QBs gonna come, gonna come in and take over Daniel Jones? Like 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 like, like, like they gonna be better than him? Man, come Absolutely. on, him. He's trash. Daniel Jones garbage. That money they paid him, they should have paid to get it to Saquon Barkley when he got paid. That's what they should have did, but they didn't want to do that. Mm, they gave it. They gave it to goddamn uh, Daniel no, Jones. Okay. And then he, got hurt. then he got hurt at week on like week six and he was done for the season. Mm-hmm. They found him somewhere else. And I see Sam Howell upgraded, so you know Washington gonna get a quarterback. Yeah, 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 yeah. They mm-hmm. gonna no. get a uh, old buddy quarterback from LSU. Maybe. Yeah, that's it's a chance. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Everybody's still waiting on this damn uh What's the name? Chicago quarterback. What is it? That's that's what Justin everybody trying to see. What, he you know, ain't what getting is traded. He ain't getting traded. So you say he gonna they gonna let him and Caleb Williams battle without? Well, that's gonna that, 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 that was a, that was a smoke screen. What you talking about? They're not. They they don't want to trade Justin Fields. So they gonna just so they gonna draft a quarterback still? They want to see what happens. But yeah, oh, if you're real, yeah, because they don't they, draft the quarterback. If I was Carolina, I would draft the quarterback, especially if one of the top three or four is up there. At 33, I'm drafting a quarterback. That's just me, though. Now look what happened last season. We jumped the gun. We uh, should have for who? For who? <laughs> Well, for who, was, Mr. Westman? The front office, they wanted... I need a name. Oh, my God. We, we, we traded the wrong QB, and that's Bryce Young. We should have got Stroud. And, and Stroud's still better than Bryce. Okay. I should have hit, hit the lottery last week, too. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Yep. It's how it is, man. We, I mean, shit. But then again, you didn't hit the lottery yet. I'm gonna hit it one day. I'm gonna hit it one day, baby. One day, baby. I don't think CJ Stroud is not. He's not it. I mean, shit. We'll see. He's not it. To the playoffs. I I really don't give a damn how he do, for real. He ain't on my team. I really don't give a damn. At this point. Now that he he, he broke the rookie record. If CJ Stroud is saying Bryce Young is better than him. Stroud is still sure better than Bryce Young. Better than, better than last year. Like, hey, hey, man, Izzy, you can say what you want. What, you, what happened? Like, what uh, hey, I'm, I'm going to take some face value. Mm-hmm. Now, Mr. West, I'm hearing some buzz from your line. Can you say, ah, oh, so I can see if that buzz is coming from you? Uh, uh, <laughs> why would you do that? Right, right, right. Why would you do that? Caller, who's the new caller we got in here? Oh my! Hey, hey, this Joseph from Cali, bro. What's hey, up, Big Cali? What's up, up Cali? Big Cali, you better stop saying that. So <laughs> 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 what? Go ahead, Cali. What uh, part of Cali you from? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm part of the Dino, bro. I'm, I'm from the IE, bro. Okay. Oh, shout out to the IE, man. I appreciate you, uh, Big Cat. Hey, I just want to know real quick what you guys think we're going to do with the the first two picks. Should we go Robinson, the first, to replace Burns? Because imagine with the pick that we just got right now, I'm not too familiar with that nigga's name, but the nigga from Minnesota. And then we do, and then we pick up a defensive lineman with the 33rd or, and go. Well, that, that's that's the yeah. Yeah, defensive line. Well, you know, that 33. Hold on, Mr. West. Let me answer the caller's question. First of all, shout out to Cali, man. Um, okay. I'll say this, man. 
we're in a great position no matter which way we do. We listen. listen I, I spoke on this. Yeah, um, we are. I spoke right. on this uh, uh, mm. earlier last week or earlier this week. I apologize. We can take those two picks and trade up to probably about like the fifteenth pick, or uh-huh. we can stay where we at and we can go wide receiver, edge rusher, edge rusher, wide receiver, or yeah. or we, yeah. can, we can we can stay mm. at thirty third and take the thirty nine and flip that. You know why I say that, caller? Why? Because you see all these quarterbacks that have been signing, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. One of these quarterbacks mm-hmm. is going to fall because teams have been signing quarterbacks in free agency. So think right. about think about this. Because we got the Giants' early 39th pick, now teams are going to be willing to get up and get get one of these quarterbacks that's going to slide. So you can take – Oh, yeah. 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 So you can, you can yeah. say, you know what, okay, I'll let the 33rd mm-hmm. pick go if you give me your second round and give me another third round and possibly like a fifth round. So you can take that 33rd and flip it into three picks – and still just drop back six more picks. Yeah, because they, they can get their quarterback yeah, that they want. Yeah, so yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. yeah. You can, Look, that's yeah. something I want to do, nigga. I want to move back in the draft. Right. I don't want to move up because, honestly, if we move up, then we're still in the fucked up predicament the Carolina Panthers always been in, bro. And what we're you mean? just one player. Well, we get one player and fucking put – all of our chips in the middle of the table on that one fucking player, bro. Mm-hmm. And every year, them niggas let us down, bro. Oh, yeah. J.C. Horn, nigga, we could have got Mika Parsons instead of J.C. Yeah, Horn. Yeah. Fucking every, bro, every other pick that we pick, fucking Brian Burns, dog. But we're we hoping did, but and when we drafted J.C. Hold on, hold on. We're hoping and praying this nigga gets 15 sacks just so we could fucking <laughs> make it to the playoffs. Like, come on, my nigga, bro. I'm tired of doing this shit. Yes, sir. Like you said earlier, Big Cat, I need dogs That's on my right. defense, That's bro. That's right. Talk I need, I need a fresh game. I need a gamble back there, my nigga. I need, I need a gamble back there, nigga. I need a Witherspoon linebacker. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I want a line out of it. I want a line out of it. All the moves that we have made. The former coach of the time. The former coach of the time. One at a time. One at a time. Go ahead. But like the, all I'm saying is, look, look. I need the dogs like you was talking about. Yeah. And if if we trade back for that 33rd pick and get more picks, oh, yeah. bro, I'm fine with that. If we stay where we're at and pick up, come on, bro. Look at our line, defensive line right now. We good with Robinson, fucking Brown. Um, I don't know who's our left hander right now, but <laughs> if we pick up if we pick up Robinson in the draft at 33rd, and then get a a, Monc- a McConkey or Leggett, bro. If we get a Leggett, you know what I'm saying, and then Keon Coleman late because he ran a shitty 40, bro. So honestly, I think he might he might slide. Honestly, yeah. but if we could get a Col- Coleman, an Xavier Worthy, whatever, even look, look, Xavier look, Worthy look, coming. Look, He's look, coming. look, hold on, He's hold on. Coming. I'm, I'm good on passing on McConkey and picking up Parsall, Ricky Parsall, late. You feel me? Mm-hmm. If we get an AD Mitchell, if we get an AD Mitchell first, and then I'm cool with getting a a Par- Parsall late. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. but really, bro, yeah. I want to keep. Yeah improving on this defensive line so even bro even if sweat even if the, the Tavon, uh, Tavondre sweat, yeah even if we bro, get a shot at sweat or jenkins nigga grab them you know what i'm saying bro make this defense make niggas scared of us again you know what i'm saying this fucking talk that shit call him Week, bro. Last season, bro, I'm watching every game mad as fuck, knowing we're gonna lose to these mm-hmm. sorry ass fucking teams, bro. Can I can I say bro. that's where you're mistaken? Big Big cat, you. We are not weak. No we cat. are not yes, weak. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We ain't weak right now. No, you're right. We're not weak right now. But yeah, in the past not. day, we've been fucking sorry from the top. From but the here, top. Here, 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 there's a real good chance. Oh, they are. The Eagles, the Eagles and uh, Atlanta could lose their first round pick because of tampering. If that if that oh. happens, we're picking we're picking thirty. 
uh, Andrew, you're doing too yep. much, man. Yep, yep. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, what's going on? Hey, what up, Andrew? Don't yeah, worry, big, big, Andrew. big respects to Andrew, dog. I always listen to you, dog, and you always make a lot of sense. Yeah, you and Big Cat, you always, and Leo and everybody else, and Unc, I fuck with y'all heavy, bro. You guys. You guys make a lot of sense. I like listening to y'all. Shout yeah, out to Andrew, bro. Hey, you well, find it out, Andrew. I was reading about it. That you know, they, that they're looking hard at this, you guys. And if if they come down at least one team, we're we're in the first round anyway. Right. Yeah. So, and with, you say in the first round and the two picks, or just no, no, we no, move no, up. No. We, our thirty third would move come. up. Okay. I mean, okay, it, okay. It, it, it's you know six and one, half a dozen of the other. But the thing is. It's what if that team that's picking ahead of us has a certain player that we want, they wouldn't be able to get them. We could get them right. if if we move yeah. up two spots. So you know the jury's out on it. They're, I've seen the NFL has done it before, and uh, if they find out that they tampered, well, uh, I don't know if it's possible. Well, sure, it's possible. It's happened before. <laughs> it happens all the time. It's legal. <laughs> it's legal though, Andrew. What's that? No, it's not. It's legal. No, it's not legal. No, tampering is not legal. Cuss, fade it's out again. Again. cuss this nigga out again. <laughs> That's one. That's one, though. When has it not been legal? It's legal. That's why they're investigating it, Fade, because it's legal. Okay. Well, well what's legal? It's, it's illegal. illegal. It's illegal. It's illegal. Okay. I'm just saying that uh, to me, it really, I think it's not going to play. It's not going to make that much of a difference, but yeah, yeah, it's uh, not really. So. You know, before you decide yeah, to give them, start trying to get up into that first round, that's something to think about because you may not have to trade anybody. What you know? what happened? That's illegal. I trade. Look, I trade. I trade. Not, Riley, all, all I'm saying is that picks. you know what? It, it, it might be possible. We might get back in the first they, round. They were communicating, Fade, before legal tampering. <laughs> they were communicating. But, there's a time that's illegally tampered. Hold on. Let me finish, Fade. Fade, let me finish, okay? They're, what I'm yeah, saying is they were tampering before it was legal to tamper, okay? Yeah, that's what he's saying. Okay. It, it, there's going to be a consequence for that if they can put that. It's going to be a legal to tamper. Look, look, look. look, look hey. that, 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 that's set in stone. I so in case you legal, guys don't know what's going on. Legal here. tampering, legal tampering is not a thing. I don't even know why they said it. I don't know why it's there. Well, they allow it. They, they allow it. That's what they get allowed. But it's it is there. Okay, that's not what happened here. Allegedly, allegedly that they were doing it before the legal tampering even right. started. Yeah, right. it's before. Like, if you want, if you want to do that, did everybody you sign? And the last week is illegal. Faye, hey, listen to what the white man is saying. What are you talking about, Faye? I don't care about the white man. I don't know, Faye, you think I'm one of your jailhouse clients? That's what it is. I mean that. What the fuck is a jailhouse client? What the fuck is a yeah, I'm telling you, that, bro. they could lose a draft pick. Would you? There's a legal tampering window. That's right, and they'd get it before the window. Before, yeah, well, well, what was before, before, before that window? Before, before, what before happened before, before that window? You heard about this? What happened before that window? He said his fucking jailhouse clients. Yeah, I think I think he's a professional troll, man. I'm a professional defense attorney. He's a fucking troll. Mr. Ed, when did you hear about this? I read it. I read it today that they're being invested. Tampering. They got to prove it and everything. But all he's saying, he's just seen it. That's all. Yeah. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, they are looking into it, and it's happened before. And why do you think Will Levis? Uh, why do you think there was uh, only why 30 you call Will Levis? Hold on, now. Now, now you're talking about my boy. All right. Yeah, now, I'm locked in. 
Hey, there are only 31 Locked picks. Up. Miami Miami got uh, dinged last year, remember? Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it happens. I'm just saying. They're investing. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, Andrew, Andrew, hold on. Here's, yeah. here's the real question, okay? If – if if it's possible, we do slide up more, right? Like we're actually in the first round again, and a couple picks do slide to us. Who do you want? Uh, I, well, I want I want uh, a wide I want a wide receiver and a tight end, or, or a tight end and an edge rusher. Yeah, because yeah, so for thirty three and thirty nine, you want wide receiver and tight end. I thought he said no, a wide. Receiver. I, I want a tight end and an edge rusher more than I do a, a wide receiver because. We went out for agency. We got a receiver, and 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 we're going to get something in the draft because don't forget we got the thirty third, the 39th, and the sixty fifth pick right, right there. So we're oh, sitting. Andrew, can, I, can I ask you a question? All right, what are you no. guys thinking about? Okay, what do you think about this? Oh, who's I, our I third? Who's draft. our I'm, third I'm one? Nerd, bro. I'm a nerd. So, what do you think about us trading the thirty third to, or the possibly even the thirty nine if we could get away with that? You know, we finesse the Steelers. If Dan could finesse the 39th for – the Steelers I wouldn't say the 39th. Let's say the 33rd. For the yeah, Eagles, no, uh, they, 50th. And, yeah. Uh, they have two second-round picks, correct? They have two second-round picks. Yeah. And, they, and they just traded somebody. First they pick. need all the picks. What, we, what are you guys thinking about that? Like, if well, we yeah, get but more picks – but you know what? That makes sense. But it all depends who's on the board. You know, right. it, it, you know, if, if they know, let's say, for instance, they know that the teams that are picking ahead of them aren't going to make a play for the player they want. They may do that. They may, they, they may, they, they may make that. But then you put yourself at risk that that team that you think won't draft them is going to make make a trade, and then someone mm -hmm. will. Move up and get that pick the that you're looking. The way the Patriots really did this free agency, they did a lot this off. I ain't never seen that. Yes, like they, yeah, they, yeah did. So, they did. They did a lot. Well, of what do you? What do you? I want to fall out. They might look, fall out in the, uh, in, the uh, in the uh, uh, in the draft. They might just look, fall look, out. I want to know in the draft. Before. Free agency is over now, y'all. They yeah. they did their thing in the draft. I'll give them. Yeah, yeah. So now I'll give them an Free agency is not over. They took a lot of spots. I'm just saying with Carolina, they ain't picking up no more people, I don't think. I don't think they're going to do no more. Oh, well, they, yeah, they, I don't that, think that's the money better. thing. We got to see exactly the contracts and all that. When is free agency, like, stops? Like, does it never start? It don't never no, stop. No, it don't, it don't stop. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So basically, all the way up to the either. draft. All the way up to the draft. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's how it goes. Because we picked up everything that we might pick up on in the draft. We got a cornerback. We got a defensive lineman. We got an edge rusher. We got a wide receiver. There's something that we might was going to pick in the draft. So That's now right. it's like... That's I'm right. just saying, look. I'm yeah, we're going to do it all over again. The free agency, or, yeah. So he's going to get the free agency. Like, what if Chop... That's the only thing Chop, we get was a running back. What if Chop falls to us at 33? Oh man, I grab, I grab him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We take chop. All right, do you think chop is better than Darius Robinson? I don't think he's better than Braden Fisk. Bro. I'll take him. Yeah. I know. I'll I like this too, Faith. I, I will take. I like this too. I'll take. I like this. Yeah, 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 to me, one or the other, it doesn't matter. They're both. They're both going to be good. Uh, so you basically say it's a win-win situation. Yeah, it I, yeah, it is, but, but it depends mm -hmm. on what we're trying to fix. So look, don't, if we want to move your draft defense, capital, and we think this 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 is a wide receiver heavy draft, then fuck it, I'm gonna take the the best defensive player on the board. Fuck it, I might it take two. If, if it's, it's chopped and it's fit, all right, look, look, hey, 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 big cat, big yeah, cat. Yeah, what's up, man? Is Braden Fist better than Derrick Brown? No, hell no. no. Hell no. What the? Wait, come on. What kind of now. question was that, man? Yeah. Uh, on, I was just baby. asking. You trying to, you trying to get you the fuck out of here? Big <laughs> cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they are. Yeah. Hey, if, if you can get two more seconds for him, would you take it? What are you talking about? No. no two man. more seconds for who? For Derek Brown. I'm not trading Derek commander. Brown. I'm, Derek Brown is not a guy commander. who... who Derek Brown is not going nowhere, Faye. He's a commander. Faith, I'm, I'm not saying. taking no pick for Derek Brown. He's the guy who actually plays. He's not dancing and doing exactly. stuff. You know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hey,
if, if you trade Derek, if you trade Derek Brown, you're gonna have to go out and draft two people to replace him. Yeah, what well, that makes sense. Yeah, that's easy. Probably three. It's gonna be two seconds. Two seconds. Derek Brown don't use his PTO. I, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even spend it on him. I wouldn't even spend it on the line. No, I'd spend it on the cornerback. We might pick one in the draft. In the draft, like hey, that's no, why I no, said no, trade no, no, with no. That's another thing too. That's why we got I, one in the no, free agency. No, and then see, pick I, want, I want Cooper Dean or I want Kenyon Mitchell. How bad you want it? <laughs> you funny. Well, I tell you, you what, funny. if you want those players, my advice is flip the coin. Let's make the deal. Hey, hey, hey that's my part. Hey, better do it. Great shape here, man. Either it's way. gonna happen. I said it already. Y'all it's better stop like, talking about Brady Brown. Brown. But hey, when he get traded, what y'all gonna say then? Hey, Faye, you be yeah, you man. Faye, you got to stop with that, man. What, what do you, yeah, what man. Do you, yeah. what do you mean I got to stop it? You're bullshitting. Wait, I'm not even drinking. Say, Andrew said you're I'm a not even drinking. You're drinking tonight. You're drinking tonight. You said you're a professional troll? Andrew would never say. Faye, count backwards from 32 right now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fucking do it. <laughs> uh, I no, 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 say, say, count backwards from 32. I, I, I tune in every night just to see who you're going to pick up <laughs> with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're not yeah. drunk tonight, count back yeah. from 32, right. nigga. I got three you. nights in a row. This nigga is wild. You got way off the <laughs> top. Hey, do you want to make it fall? Do you want to make it fall? I can make it fall. If you do this thing right, we want us to have a good season this year. I hope we do. If we do it right. Hey, first of all, fuck Luke Combs. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Who the oh, fuck knew you gonna say that, bro? I, I never seen that nigga in my life, bro. What the <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Luke hey, for real though, for real though. No, honestly, look at his songs, man. You, said, oh, you listen to him today? Oh, you listen to him? Stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. Let me read this super chat. Shout out to Red Swarm. He says, "Big Cat, you cannot move into the first round. What occurs is that there will be thirty teams picking in the first round." You yep. still will be picking in the first pick of the second round. Yeah, but technically, we still, you know, of course, they're only yeah, but numbers, yeah, numbers wise, it works out the same. Right, yeah, it works out yeah, the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, they, hey, that's a Will Leathers. What you mean? What? What the fuck is he talking about? Yeah, it's, you're right. <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> Big now cat, don't say that. Fred, I'm gonna go take a don't piss real that. quick, and when I come back, you better count backwards hey, from hey, 32. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I need you to count backwards from piss, 32 if you're not drunk. Piss, piss on live. Count backwards from 32. I'll be right back. Hey, hey, this is a platform. He can do whatever you want. Let me know that and I know he does it. And I know he does. He don't want to do that thing. He don't want to. He already does it. What do you mean, Andrew? Yes, sir. What tight end do you, are are you looking at in the draft? Uh, I like Ben Sinat. Ben Sinat no. is good. Yeah. Still, you get him at thirty nine. Um, uh, no, I think he might be there at sixty five. I think he might. Yeah, he'll thing. be there at sixty five. You think he's better than Kate Stover? Uh, I, I can't really say. I think they're both good. They're both good. Let's put it that way. I, I, yeah. I, if they were to get one of those guys, it w I would be just as happy dude, for one or the other. Personally, I like Theo Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Listen, that's Bryce Young's target. It was Sullivan. He, he's on the line. Theo Johnson on the line, ain't he? No, he's uh, in BYU. He goes to BYU, I think. All right. I'm gonna do I my think we do this right this year. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. We're gonna, we gonna have a good season. I don't really see it coming, um, Mr. Wesley. Hey, Mr. Wesley, it's what's coming. your season? What's the good season to you? Mr. I I don't want us to go down like a sunken ship. Like a what? That's <laughs> what I. Mean. But, but but then again, you don't like Bryce Young. You don't like Bryce Young. A sunken piece of what? 
You know what? Let me read these it's cash out. Shout out to Lupe. I don't see Bryce Young as the future. I don't see Mr. Wesley. Calm down. Oh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Fella, let me read these cash out. Shout out to Lupe, baby. He says, I apologize for that G. I hope it's all love. No, 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 no. You ain't got to apologize for getting off and fade ass. Yeah, don't apologize. Yeah, don't ever apologize. Don't apologize. Shout out to Big Fish. He said, need to get out of Lou Baby needs to get out of his feelings. It's not that serious. Shout out to the Big Fish. That's true, too. Nah, shout out to Lou Baby. You was trying to stand on business for I mean, his son. Hey. <laughs> what, what? I was trying to stand up for his son. How you going yeah. trying to stand on business when I'm trying to be with his son? You standing on business for yourself at that point. Mm. At that point, you, you ain't about that. I mean, I don't know why he snapped like that. I mean, you was just saying he ain't about that. I just told you. Damn. Uh, like I, I read, I read people for a living. He ain't about it. What you mean? What you mean by he ain't about that? What you mean by that? I mean, Damn, he might true. be about it, like with that. But was anything else? It's like he's not conscious, if I can say. Hello? Yeah, my, uh, my bad, big ass. Somebody had called me. It's all good. It's all good, man. You good? Uh huh. Mm. But yeah, man. Yes, shout sir. out to the guy in the chat. He said, "What should, what should we do at uh, the thirty third pick?" I think wide receiver is uh, us uh, the consensus right now. I, I like yeah, what they yeah, did in free agency. It seems like man. a ninety five percent chance we're going wide receiver. Yeah, I like uh, big cat. You like uh, McConkey over thirty third is there? I love man. I love man. Yeah. My guy's like McConkey. You see? Yeah, McConkey. No, let, 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 let me ask you this: When have you seen a white man run a four? What we ran a four two, four three? Nah, oh, four yeah, three yeah. nine. Four three nine. Now you, you tell me. You tell me. First of all, you're getting an intelligent. I would take him. I would take him, man. Well, Brenton Burson did the same thing. Well, hold tight. This is an I, intelligent guy. He's ver he's intelligent. Yeah, him and Evan. Yeah, bro. His route runner. Now you got to be intelligent. Then they gonna teach him something. You're getting a great. You're getting a great route runner. Okay. Yeah. Now, yep. now you got to be intelligent. I told you this guy reminds me mm -hmm. of that whole element. I say, the, we go after the big draft? cat. Here's the thing. Look, big cat. Here's the thing. Look, my bad. I don't mean to cut okay, you off, big guy. But look, you could be a great route runner and not have four three uh three nine speed bad, and still fit in the yeah. NFL. Call this mm -hmm. nigga got great That's route right. running. He got yeah. a three. Yeah. He got a route running, and he run a four three nine. And most importantly, he's white. <laughs> the rest yeah, on this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Adam Beasley yeah. not the yeah. man. Yeah. Big cat. He can run around. Adam Beasley is not the man. Big cat. He should just take him. Yeah, please, please. I'm a Georgia Bulldog and, fan, so I, let me tell you, I I don't need to be convinced. Oh. I know what this guy can do. Oh. I seen what this guy can do. Oh. You know what right. Mean? I don't care what school he went to. He's good. He good. Uh, just because, yeah, he good. Just because uh, of that. Hold, 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 hold tight. Hold First tight. Just I'm because of that. Good. Hold tight. Just because of that. Say it, Keitoa, before I get you out of here. Say it. Say it again. Say what you need to say before I get you out of here. I said, I don't care what school he went to. He's good. He good. I heard, good. I heard that, but I need you to say it. What? I don't care what school he went no, to. No, when you mention a Georgia Bulldog, when you mention a Georgia Bulldog, go dog. Oh, go dog. Oh, go dog. Go dog. Yeah, yeah, you like, you, you said it wrong. Woo, 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 nigga. You said it wrong. Who said it? Who said that wrong? It is what it is. Back to back national champion, nigga. Don't ever forget it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they said they played. They said. We ain't gonna talk about that, but they, I mean, but, but we, they could have been back in the championship. But nah, I promise you, you're still not better than Alabama. Screw Alabama, man. Alabama ain't shit. Hey, you ain't, you ain't better than Alabama. I, I said the hell with them. They not, their, their players ain't that good either way. Who? Hmm. Alabama. They, not, they never been that good. All right, so I, now oh, I got to yeah. come at you, Mr. Wesley. Hey. Because those, those players that went, the players that went to yeah. Al Alabama went to pros, some good, some of them are not. Yeah, I would take old buddy from Georgia though. He really like yeah. Hey, hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not, it's hey, not hey, gonna hey, happen. Keytuan, we gotta stop with old buddy. Say the name when you mention it. <laughs> Don't say the name. <laughs> say his name when you mention it. What? What, what's, what's, his name again? what's his name? Don't what's say. What's his name? You don't. You said old buddy. I need you to say his name. Put respect mm -hmm. on the Bulldogs. I mean, you better push that I, I can't say. I, I, I know. I know how he play. I've seen the film. Let's get you the fuck out. Oh my! I don't even know his damn name. Lyle McConkey, brother. 
Hey, I like that. I like that. L A D D. Yeah, McConkey's nice. McConkey. You get that man with somebody like Patrick Mahomes, boy. Oh, yeah. Who's that? It's Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Put him in the same thing. Hey, hey, hey. What y'all think about uh, Jerry Rice, son? Braden Rice? Braden. Braden Rice. No, I, I heard I'm not going to pass on him. I heard he was trash. I'm not going to pass on him. I'm going to pass on him, man. What, what if he heard he was trash? What if we get him late, big cat? Say what? What if we get him late? What did I tell you about all these big name players? Didn't you hear me? Yeah, any <laughs> Hall of Fame boy that's already good, they got to smell it. Don't do it. I know you heard me when I opened the show up. I know you heard me when I opened the show up, bro. Big cat. Brandon Rice is not. He's not a household I'm name. I'm not getting no more big name players or daddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not a household daddy, name. He don't want Jerry Rice right. and the Panther jersey right. and all that I don't want to see that shit, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, Jerry not, Rice and Charlotte all the damn time. My, ain't got no, yeah. Now you want to be in Charlotte. That nigga yeah. ain't never been in Charlotte. Yeah. That's Jerry Rice Fact. and Charlotte. What the hell? Well, hey, watch it. Watch you it. You want to know? Hey, watch it. Oh, my son ain't get enough ca catches. My son ain't get enough targets. Yeah, ain't got time for none of this shit. all that shit, bro. <laughs> I tell you what I do got time for is a good wholesome white man by the name of Lad McConkey. <laughs> athletic, smart. You said that <laughs> last year. <laughs> but, uh, you said that last year. And I still mean it. Yeah, yeah. Because Big Cat was on the right. He was uh, on the yeah. price wrong, and no, he, he was going to no, take Will Levis, though. Mm -hmm. He had a little thing nope, for Will nope, Levis. Nope. Is that right? Hey, yeah, he did. He did. A little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you got a little bit yeah. for where we are living now. Hmm? Yeah. I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to do that. I, was a, I think he was uh, on the Anthony Richardson train. No, I, no, I, no, no, no. Nah, he was never on that. Nah, no. no. <laughs> that was only Howard and Leo. That yeah. was Howard and Leo. Uh, <laughs> <that's terrible. laughs> now, I tell you this. I do like Richardson now, man. I I, I like him as a man because I've seen the, the bio. As a man, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, as that. a man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, as a man, yeah. He's a cool dude. He's yeah, a good yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. No, all jokes aside. All jokes aside. Not even a cool dude. He just on it. You know what I'm saying? Face it off. Hope he I mean, hope he learned. You know what I'm going to do. Learn how to be a quarterback and get down. You know who scares me is in the draft? Can I tell you who scares me? Xavier Leggett, man, because I like him, but to me, that big bulky frame of his, I don't know how that's going to translate to Bryce getting the ball out of his hand quickly. And uh, somebody said he reminds uh -huh. me of Dwayne Jarrett. I'm not going to go that far. Um, but the ceiling is high for Leggett as far as, uh, you know. But he, now just to mind you, he only made third team All-American. So let's keep that in mind, too. So I, I like, I see the DK Metcalf comparison. But when the release and you got to get the ball at your hand quickly, I don't know if he's yeah. quite the right guy for us. You know, he kind of scares right. me. So you, know? you saying is Troy Franklin better than him? Hold on, hold on. I ain't even talking about Troy Franklin. Man, Troy, Troy Frank Franklin was trash in the combine. Johnny, Johnny Wilson. Was Johnny Wilson. Johnny yeah, I was Wilson. about to say something I, about I Faye mentioning I Johnny agree, Wilson Faye. the other night when we were talking. Johnny Wilson, talking. I agree with you, Faye. That nigga <laughs> six, 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 seven, bro. That's what six, Bryce seven, bro. Yeah. Six, seven. That dude towering over top of five foot uh, ten guy. I like Johnny Wilson late. I ain't even right like this like late, bro. If we could get him late. That's a good pickup for Bryce. Mm -hmm. That is a great pickup. That's what he needs, bro. He needs a big target. Who the fuck is Sullivan? Don't nobody know who the fuck Sullivan is. He wasn't even that good last year, bro. But who was his main targets, bro? It was Sully, bro. I'm telling you, because he's six six. That was he's his about he the, needs he's a about big the tight body, end, bro. Uh, yeah, the the tight end that we had last year. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, him and Tommy Tremble did. Tommy Tremble did put in some work too. Now, man, oh, Tommy oh, Tremble, oh, I oh. like Tommy Tremble. I think Tommy Tremble had like four or five touchdowns. He had four. Or five yeah, I think he's gonna he succeed this downs. year for sure. Yeah. But I'd uh -huh. rather pick up another tight end to be. Uh, yeah. You gonna know, say big cat? You talking about Tommy Tremble putting in some work? Come on, with that stupid <laughs> shit, <bro>. Just a <laughs> little bit. Hey, that I just shit, a little bit. I mean, he yeah. showed that. Nigga, I'm not going to be trying. I'm trying. Better at pullback. He tried. Yeah, yeah. I mean, on that Cowboy game, he scored the touchdown. Yeah, a couple. What last year? Yeah, couple passes. Come on, What do you guys? What What do you guys think our number one uh, need is currently? 
like what do you think that would be well, the biggest wide necessity receiver. you have to have? Wide yeah, receiver. Yeah, wide, wide receiver. Yeah. I, I'll say this. Yeah, I'll we, say this. Uh, we just got one, didn't we? Because I think our wide receiver issue I mean, is pretty obvious here. Uh, Deontay Johnson and, and, and Mingo and Adam Thielen, I mean, that's okay. But it, no, we can't do yeah, that. We, 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 need, we need something to kind of set us, uh, set us yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, thought yeah, Shark yeah. was going to okay. be good last right. year, though. No, who, who, who said who thought he was good? Who, who told you he was going to be good? good. <laughs> you, hey, hey, Carter, I, you, I knew Chark was going to be trash. Carter, you tell me the nigga that told you Chark was going to I know his name, but you tell me who it was. <laughs> it wasn't over here. Oh, I <laughs> Do we yeah. be calling out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That yeah, nigga said he I ain't going to say his name. He just say yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time. But look, <laughs> Carter, call, call I'll tell you this. The, the better question is this. What's the second biggest issue? And, um... I want to hear from you guys, but uh, I gotta say, corner. We need to get a, a corner. What, what do you? What would you say, Carl? Of course, you gotta get a corner. Oh, you let yeah, all the corners go. We already yeah, 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 I was looking at CJ Tampa. What you think about CJ Tampa? I mean, hey, you got Ooh, CJ Henderson. Oh, right. What? I read some. I, I read something on Twitter. I read something on Twitter earlier today hey, that the me. Panthers were in talks with Williams too. Hey, you is funny. From. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I was calling that time. I'm going to tell you. Let me hear the white man. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah, so I saw it on Twitter that they said that there were three teams that were in in the bucket, and the Panthers were one of them as far as talking to Mike Williams, wide receiver from uh, Los Angeles. Mike Williams is already done. That nigga's already Yeah, he already went somewhere, I think. Where'd he go to? Did he go? What, the Dolphins? Yes, yes, he did. Where'd he go to? Uh, let me hold, 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 hold. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, he was oh, somewhere. He didn't go nowhere. That ain't been flashed yes, up no, on no, the he did. He, he, did. he did. I he promise you. Healthy, I promise you he, he did. He healthy. He always hurt, though. He's no, always he hurt. Did. Always he did. hurt. He did. He did. Well, I'm here, I'd rather draft a Ricky than dealing with him now. Just uh, wait for it, because I'm still at work. 18 hours. What am I there you go. Talking? We already love our home. What am I hey, but I will to? say, I will to? say, when he's on the field, that nigga is an X factor, bro. Yeah, yeah, he, he uh, is. If he's like great in fantasy, he's, he's great in fantasy. Yeah, yeah. If he stay healthy, he can. He's yeah, a big yeah, body. He did. He's a big body. He been hey, hurt since hey, he left hey. by the clinic. <laughs> <laughs> I started. Well, I went on. I went on that FPP after we talked. You know, uh, two nights ago. I think it was two nights ago. I was. I, I called in and when you were saying 33 and 30, 39. Wasn't good enough for like the best wide receivers, and I, I was looking through that shit, and I was like, you do have valid points, Faye. I can give you that. So I want to give you props to that, man. Oh, it's like, not valid point. Appreciate. It. Uh, don't say, don't say. And that, I, I, when, I, when, I that, at, when I when I looked at when I looked uh when I looked at uh the uh the, the Johnson from Florida State University, I, I kind of thought he looked too thin down on the bottom end. Uh, which, you know, long, long, lengthy legs like a basketball player, but, you know, somebody with some bolt come hitting his legs, you know, might miss the white man. I like, that, I like that running back from Florida State, the running back from Florida State. Hold, hold, hold on, okay, well. okay. Can I ask you where uh, Johnson came from? What? Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> Mr. White Man. Talking to Mr. Well, White. Well, what are you I ain't saying? talking to y'all niggas. Raise your mouth. Raise your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> you're you're, you're, you're talking to Mr. White. Open your mouth. 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 Open your so, Mr. White Man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Face sound like yep. his breath Faye, smell like Jack Daniels. Don't waste that motherfucker time. He, white Man busy. He got shit to do. Oh, man. Hey, I just hey, got hey, off work. Yeah, I'm just yeah, driving down that road, bro. Don't waste your time, Faye. <laughs> I want to know what just happened. What the hell is Don't talk the now. Fuck up. Don't talk now. Especially you, big cat. Say, My oh. boy, stay silent. I know you ain't fine because you on the other end. I got yeah, you. Yeah, I'm cruising down the street, bro. I ain't talking about you. 
Who are you talking about, dude, Faye? Hey. Who I'm talking about knows who I'm talking yeah, about. You lay out that boom form. You sucking down that boom form. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, that might be in that moonshine. Eating that fucking E&J or whatever. Yeah. yeah bro, I just told you. Moonshine. Hey, ask Mr. White Man a question. Wrong with you. Let me ask you a question. No, no, no. You, you are, you, gotta... are you projecting? Are you projecting? Yeah, Nick said, are you projecting? Face are you projecting? Look, look, look. What is he projecting, Dave? Hey, I, I can take over oh, anything oh, I want to. Say, oh. I can take over it. Oh, nigga. All right, so yeah. best pick, best pick. Who uh, who was that talking about? Derek Brown best getting pick traded. Is that was, that was you, Mary, right? Yeah, yeah. Derek, Derek Brown getting yeah. pay, traded. I yeah, think you know. Traded, I think you know. He, he's he's, he's, a, he's an asset to the team. He's an asset he to the team. Oh no! But if he if he, he gives us traded. you know the ability to get in the first round and a second round and a third second Derek round. Derek Brown dip, has nothing to do with this. Now, Faith, I don't know how true this is, but what I heard is in Vegas, you eat hot dogs with no bonds. You just like the casing when it snaps in your mouth. Is that true? You like the texture of the casing when it snaps off in your mind. Is that true? Yeah. Our dash time. <laughs> I, I don't fist, care bro. about that. First of all. Faith, is it true that you door dash dick? Is that true? What? You said my door dash pick? Door dash? What? What? What, hey, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure you're not going to get it. He sounds like he works at the post office. That's not me. Hey, hey, hey. You sound like you work at the post office. I work for Spectrum, bro. I, hey, I was with Amazon you sound like you work for, for a good minute. I think I talked to you, nigga, when my internet went out, nigga. The right your internet went out? You yeah, pay? internet you went out. Like, hey, 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 hey. See, I, I work in regional, like. regional sports center. Spectrum I deal with bad. Georgia, Georgia, my Alabama, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi. Okay. Hey. All, all over there. I'm, I'm constantly calling people all day long. I probably well, call them people. You're not. You ain't got friends? What's that? What? Oh. I say hey, you ain't got like friends. You work at the DMV, dog. I do work at the DMV. What's you going to do about Every it? Every time I hear your voice, nigga, I just what you going to do about it, bro? What you going to do about it? I work at the DMV. Nigga, ain't you shit something happen? about it. You a white man at the DMV? <laughs> hey, I'm a white man at the DMV. Yeah. Okay. What am I supposed to do, Faye? That's, yeah, exactly. What are you supposed yeah, to do? damn, Faye. Nothing. But yeah, let's get back to football. But um, oh god, they be getting this is Faye's whole uh, life right here, bro. He listen to Big Cat's right, podcast, uh, bro. I promise you, this just call it. Life. This nigga don't don't work, bro. He don't make no money, bro. Damn, Faye. Hey, hey, he just hey. be listening to Big Cat's Cat. podcast all day, bro. And then he calling, he calls. Yeah, I, I can't even call Big Cat no more. Hey, you Big Cat no, number I... one fan, huh? Yeah, yeah, uh -oh. yeah. you uh -oh. number one fan, bro. Even though he calls me fag every time, I'm number one fan. Congratulations, bro. Are you stupid? Are you stupid or are you dumb? You tell me. Congratulations, Faye. Congratulations. I'll take it. You gonna give me a birthday cake and some candles? <sighs> Probably not, because you ain't about that life. <laughs> See? I'm not about that life, baby. You ain't about that life. You ain't about that life. You right, dog. You ain't about that life. Hey, Faye, you coming to the meet and greet this time, right? Care. You say you coming to the meet and greet this time, right? Yeah, K1, I'm coming. All right, man. We need to see you there, man. 
What oh, you gonna do when Lou Baby? Hey, what you gonna do when Lou Baby show up? Your man, <laughs> you gonna do it, nigga? Oh, well, him ain't. What, what, uh, what's I'm gonna going do what I do, baby. I, that's what I was gonna say. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, exactly. You ain't gonna show up, nigga. That's why you say you ain't. Oh, gonna you got a little problem up. with uh, little bro, baby. I ain't showing up for you. You ain't gonna show up. I ain't up. showing up for nobody. You a troll. I'm baby. showing up. You're a troll. Oh, man. I'm a troll. I'm a Faye troll. Faye now. Faye say he, uh, pull up I'm a the troll last now. Time. I mean, yeah. Fade under the bridge. Oh, uh, I'm a troll now. Yeah. Fade yeah, under the troll. bridge. Okay. You're a troll. I think he said he's going to be in the city. He's going to be in the city when training camp comes. No, no, no. That's black. That's black. I'll pay him no more. Oh, man. Oh, man. That yeah. nigga said he want a birthday cake. You gay as hell, Fade. Yeah. Oh, hey, man. Hey, that nigga said, buy me a birthday cake. Look, <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, that's why I know you. Fuck, you, you. You're 20. You want, you're 20. You want you're 21. And cherries you on that motherfucker. 21. <laughs> you want strawberries and cherries. You're not even 21. I'll, I'll buy you a fruit cake, babe. All right, buy, buy me it. I'll buy, buy you a fruit cake. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Uh, Hey, 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 and then you go, you go say ah, nigga. Twenty seven. Say ah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say ah. Say I'm gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga. And when I'm over your, when I'm over your head, I'm gonna say ah. Yeah. Exactly. Calm say down. You got white boy come back. Calm down. No, 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 no. Your okay. comebacks aren't even fire, fam. Right, what you mean when you're on his head? What the, the fuck does that mean? That's that gay white boy shit, dog. Oh, okay. He said he no, on what, the what? What'd you say? He said one. He's on Fade, the are you <laughs> white? Yeah, yeah, I'm white. I know. I see. I could tell, bro. He, Fade, okay. Fade. Right. Fade, Fade is from, from Ireland. Fade from Ireland. Fade playing Call of Duty. Fade playing Call of Duty on here, bro. I'm not. I can tell. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can tell. All right, let's go. What, to play Call of Duty? Mm-hmm. You want to play Call of Duty? Shout out to Jerome Banks. Yeah, yeah, he said, yeah. what about a center? Anybody know anything about a center? Oh, yeah, that might be something, too, because I know off yeah, the court, it uh, ain't nothing wrong with that. I, mean, just, I don't know what round, but Third round. just get one in. Uh, I told you, Cedric Van Pratt. I already told you that. Will he be there in like the uh, fourth round? Yes, yes, he will. Oh, if he's there in the fourth round, shit, hey, yeah. Stop playing. Hey, yeah. Uh, I ain't no way I'll. I'm mad hey. at that. Uh, hey, you black. don't know if that nigga gonna hey, be black, there in the black, fourth round. Black. You just black. drunk, bro. Black. I'm gonna see you at the meeting group. Uh oh. Mm. Hey, you gonna see you at the meeting group. No, don't think I don't, don't know your voice. Uh oh. No, no, oh, you live. You, bro. He, said, he, said you go, he said you're going to be hiding from him. All that. Mm-hmm. Okay, you, think yeah. I, you think I'm not just going to come because you said something? Mm. Uh-oh. Hey, Faye, why was you letting them niggas press you on your baby mama? Hey, nobody pressed oh. me on nothing. First of all. Why you nobody you pressed me on nothing. Put your baby mama on the rest of your life. Nobody <laughs> pressed me on nothing. Put your baby mama in it. What the hell? Look, hell? look, look. You switch up the subject so fast. That's why I know you you oh not real, God, brother. Bro. You ain't real. <laughs> you right, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so why your girl got some nuts? <laughs> you right, man. I ain't real, man. I ain't real. <laughs> Yeah. Why your girl got some nuts? You said why my girl got some nuts? Hey, that's 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 that, that's on her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's on you right now, my brother. That is outrageous. Uh, what, 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 not that white man, right now, my brother. Yeah, man. Is this another white man? Hey, praise be with you, my brother. That's all I could say. Mm, praise what? be what, with what? With my child. Oh, mm. oh okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, I I messed up. I got the wrong person. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. Hey, why are you getting we mad? We are human. Man? We, hey, why are you getting mad, bro? I can't see. I'm not why even mad. mad. I, 
See, I'm you be all, you always be telling niggas, I'm just speaking facts. Hey, I, hey, I'm, I'm gonna apologize saying, to I'm you. I'm what I got if, if I hurt your feelings, you I'm, I'm gonna apologize. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Come on, Faye. The Chargers just traded Keenan Allen to the Bears for a fourth round pick. And hold on, man. Yeah, yeah, he went to the Bears. Uh-oh. It said the Chargers that. always can consider selecting a wide receiver with the number five pick. So apparently, apparently the Chargers oh, got oh. the number five pick overall from the Bears. Who the hell Justin Herbert oh, going to throw it to? Wow. He's going to throw it to. Oh, the the Chargers going to be killing Allen. The Chargers got the number five pick. Wow. Yeah. 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 Gonna, no, 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 no. Wow. No. Well, it depends because. Bears now might take Marvin Harrison. Wow. Oh, now you then they really going to get, oh, yeah. So the Chargers got the number five overall pick. The Bears get Keenan Allen. Bears going to be crazy this year, man. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think, yeah. wait, hold up, hold up. No, they taking Joe off. That's a lot. The Bears is going to get, what? That's a lot. Bear, Bears are going to. Hey, we'll take out nine. Though. So they got DJ like, Moore, Keenan Allen. Yeah, they're gonna get what, a quarterback. What's the other pick? What's the other pick? Yeah, they gonna they gonna get a quarterback. No. Keenan Allen old. Yeah, he is kind of old. Let me tell you something. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that right there? Who said who said he old? I said he old. Let me tell you this, Cole. He is kinda, I put that I, motherfucker on my fantasy team every year, and that's the I only. Did, I did too. That's the only yeah, reliable motherfucker. That nigga that reliable nigga fuck. Get, I don't, I don't he like ain't never like been hurt. Uh, uh, he got to get three. Yeah. He got to you know get what? three. You know years, what? Three or four years left. He is a good two. He is a good two or three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't put him as top tier, nigga. I'd rather have Ridley. Get the fuck out of here. I'd rather have Ridley. Ridley better than Keenan Allen, Get bro. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, bro. Oh, no. hey, 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 I'm speaking hey, the truth, bro. I'm speaking the truth, big cat. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Big cat being honest right now. No, man. Big cat being honest. Come on, bro. What has Keenan Allen done, bro, for gonna, the Chargers? I'm going to tell you another team you better watch out for, the, the Commanders. Hold on. What has Keenan yeah, Allen, hey, what is Keenan Allen done for the too. Chargers, mm -hmm. big cat? Say what? What has Keenan Allen done for the Chargers? It can't happen because that sorry ass Joe uh, Justin Herbert can't get that <laughs> Justin Herbert think... overrated ass. Justin Herbert overrated. You think Justin Herbert? So they, got, they lost everybody. What the hell, John Harbaugh doing? Literally, li literally, the Chargers all they got was fucking uh, uh, Keenan Allen and Austin Eckler, and Austin Eckler stay hurt half the time. Mike Williams that stay one. hurt half the time. They ain't got no. no I'm not talking about who they got rid of. I'm from Cali. I mean, who did they get rid of? Who did they get rid of? Doing shit like that, bro. He ain't good. Who did they get rid of? Who did they get rid of? No more. What are you talking about? Exactly. Ain't nobody on the Chargers. Yeah, everybody gone. You got Justin Herbert. That's it. Yeah, they three main. Yeah, yeah. Offensive. Yeah, the running back, the Williams. Yeah, Allen. Yeah, damn. Everybody gone. Damn, boy. Say something like that. And they want to. They say they're going to get Bowers. Oh, oh, the fucking, how we can hear you. The Bears ain't playing. The Bears ain't playing this year, nigga. No, 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 not, not at all. They finna get that you little. Just they the last thing going to come to that quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to trade Justin Fields or. Hey. Oh. No, they're not trading Justin Fields. So he gonna they be can't. so young. So what they, they gonna draft then, uh, Fade? Oh, that's Drake May. Drake May? So they ain't gonna draft Caleb hey, Williams. You, you think it's Caleb Williams? But it's gonna I be Drake May. I'm just talking about a quarterback period. You think they gonna draft a quarterback period? I I think it's gonna be Drake May. And they gonna let them two battle it out? You gonna let them battle it out? Bro. You gonna let him battle it out in, in training camp? Who? Justin Fields and whoever they nah. draft that quarterback. There ain't no Justin Fields. You just said they're not draft. They're not trading them. For the <laughs> if they draft Drake May, there there is no Justin Fields. He's just there. He ain't even a backup. All right, see. 
Fred, you know the drill. <laughs> Say it. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now. They just oh you yeah, heard, they got an offense. They got an offensive line. The, the Bears got an offensive line like two hours ago. You heard what I said. They really trying to yeah. They finna they finna be hell, man. Yeah. So in case you don't know, the Bears got Keenan Allen, DeAndre Swift. Okay. They got Gerald Everett, Jonathan Owens, Kevin Byard uh, oh, from uh, the Eagles. And they got a center, Coleman Shelton. Uh, Big Cat, yeah. can, can you stay the running back one more time? DeAndre Swift. Mm-hmm. I guess he's all right. Mm-hmm. You guess? He, uh, he, uh, he, he ran behind. He did the same thing basically Miles Sanders did. Ran behind a good offensive line. Mm-hmm. Now he see how he's going to do. The Eagles' offensive line was just so good that made, I mean, shit. Yeah, so we going to see. Nah, I think the Bears going to be the best in their division. Anybody want to be right about Oh, no. Sure. Green Bay yeah. made some moves, yeah. too, man. Yeah. Green Bay, Green sure. Bay made some moves. Nah. nah, I don't believe in Jordan Love, bro. What's there right there? Uh, anybody anybody want to put $200 up for the season start, the Bears make the playoff? Yeah. I believe <laughs> hey. Ooh, that's kinda, hey, I'm on your bed, Big Cat. What you mean? I'm on oh, that bed, too. Man. You got to send it in. <laughs> you, sit, you sit it in, I'll lock it in. Hey. Cash at me with that. What, what about, so you saying they're going to win the division? The Bears gonna no, no, win no, the no. I didn't say win the division. I said they'll make the playoff. Uh, I mean, so who's going to win their division? Oh, Lions. Yeah, Lions run that shit back. Oh, yeah, Lions. Nah, yeah, right. I don't know that. I mean, Green Bay, Green Bay going to be on them, though. Yeah. Green Bay going to be on them. If you nah. if you interested in making that bet, let me know. Hit the cash app and I'll hold it for next year. I mean for this. Hey, I'll, hey, big cat, I'm gonna go hit that cash app. Let me know. I'm, I'll take yeah, it. You go. You go. Yeah. You said that they win You're the. Along with that one. No, no, no. I didn't say win the division. I said make the playoffs. Hey, hey, you said that. No, you no. Said that. I said make the playoffs. He said make the playoffs, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said make no, the playoffs. Yeah, okay, they can okay. they can make the playoffs when I win. I the ain't division. doing that. I ain't doing that. No. Oh, okay. And the Lions gonna run that shit back, but I think they'll sneak Lions, in. Lions, hey, no, this is dark horse. Did they lose anybody on 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 the uh, Lions? Anybody? Uh, oh, that safety went back to, to the Eagles. He went mm-hmm. back to the Eagles. Mm-hmm. That's the only Johnson. thing I know. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I know. The reason there. why I say they make the playoff is because I think the NFC South still gonna be bad as hell. And uh, I think, uh, you know, outside of the division winner here, that's going to create a room for, for a two to come out of the NFC North. Oh, so like a little, little okay, that's okay, like a little wild card, that's whatever. Cool. Right. That's cool. Okay. I see it. Mm-hmm. Who got the best de- uh, defense in our division? <laughs> that's a good question. It looks like it's nobody. Nobody. You want me to be honest? Be honest now. <laughs> it's nobody. It's the Falcons. 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 Say that, big cat. Hey. What? Hey. It, it, is what it, is. it is what it is. Who on the Falcons? It is what it is. Wait. Yeah, I, I'm going to roll with you right now. I don't know if I can agree with you. It is what it is, bro. Uh, Just because I know what you said. I'm going to roll with you. It is what it is. You may not want to hear that shit, but it's the truth. No, it's not. I'm really I'm trying to. Really th- I'm, I'm, I'm thinking right now, like, wait, hold on. Okay, they got Grady see. Jarrett. They got David on the Maya. They got AJ Terrell. They got Jesse Bates. They got Troy yep. Anderson. You got Nick La- Nate Lamon, who was pretty good last year. Troy Anderson was hurt. Caden Ellis. I mean, they got hey, all of them are old, though. They got Zach Harris. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, like, so not they were better than us last? So they, no, you're talking, talking about this year. You're talking about this year. Yes, yes, oh. yes, they were better than us. You're talking about this year. They wasn't better than us last year. Yes, they were. How do you get in the playoffs and they're not better than us? Who got in the playoffs? The Falcons? Don't you hey, hey, hey. We ain't made no goddamn playoffs. Bro, they're they, they right oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> Were they not right there? They ain't made no damn playoffs. What so, you mean? Look, they was out of them when we beat them. Were they not right there? Were they not right there? I don't care if you say, hey. You said they made the playoffs. No, 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 no. See, I'm, I'm going to say this. And I want you to listen. Oh. oh. Uh, here we go. 
when you say, hey, they didn't make the playoffs. Did we make the playoffs? What are you talking? I know we ain't made the playoffs. I'm saying you said they, they made the playoffs. They, they were right there, though, right? Right there don't count. Almost don't count. I almost no, it hit counts. the lottery last year. It, 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 it counts. Oh, so I it promise you it counts. Hey, what it the counts. fuck kind of comparison was that, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> no, he, he, he knew exactly <laughs> what it said. We were talking about, we was talking about 11 defense. Was they better than us? He knew year. exactly what I said. Uh, so, when you come in here and say, I don't know what I'm talking about, I, I, I think I know what I'm talking about. All right, then you got it. Let's talk. Nobody knows Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Who said something about Kirk Cousins? Hey, we talking about going into this, going into the season, going into the season. Who has who's the got the better defense going. in our division? Yeah, okay. We talking about before the draft, and as what as of what mm-hmm. we know now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Based off what we know now. What, what, what do you mean well, before well, the this draft? Is, I mean, we we don't we don't know who's going to draft, but as of right now, before a draft happens or anything, who has the best division and in, 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 uh, best defense in the division? I think we do. I, I, uh, I think it's like we do, man. Even though we, we don't even got a second string cornerback, like we in there. We don't even got a second string cornerback. You talking about we got? Hey. Come on with this shit, dog. Like I said, <laughs> I, got I, got a a you, I got a dark horse. I like what we're doing. Saying. Listen, I'm not, I'm not listening. I it's love what we're doing, but I'm saying I'm not gonna go out here and start promising best defense, and let's not do that shit. Right, you hold just on, say, okay, okay. Look, I see hold on, 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 on paper, I guess on paper. Yeah, on paper. Yeah, no, 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 not even on. Not even on paper. Yeah, on paper. Yeah, on paper. Not even on paper. On paper. You need to have your best. You need to have your best quarterback. Oh, that means it's cool. Your best quarterback was almost better than you. What do you mean? What? Derek Carr. Derek Carr did not play. Nigga, drop. <laughs> Derek Carr did not play. Derek Carr, we talk about the defense. Defense. No, like, hey, can I can I say this? If you want my dark horse for all of this, it is the Saints. Derek Ooh. Carr did not play all the year. Am I right or wrong? You're wrong. I mean, he did have some games all year. Okay, he missed about like three or four. I don't know games. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Fuck the Saints, bro. Yeah, fuck the Saints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Black. I don't like you still. But. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why he keeps even talking. I don't. Okay. Well, tell him, shut up, Faith. I ain't going to do that. I'm I'm a civil person. Somebody does something to me, yeah. I, I'm gonna do something back to the civil. Tell me, yeah, yeah, it's like so on paper, line, on hey, paper. Hey. They just they like they're the saying the nigga from the DMV, bro. I swear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like DMV. on paper, they say hey, the Falcons hey, gonna what, win the what, division. What, what, it's all on hey, paper. It's the same like? time. It's all on what paper. What would you like? I had it on like, paper all the time. You, you got all the papers. You got everything you want. But guess what? It ain't <laughs> happening. You got to come back tomorrow. Damn. See, look. Just like the fucking DMV, dog. <laughs> I always have all the paper. I always have all the paper. Hey. Y'all make me fill out more paperwork like the white man always does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why we got to jump in these groups right now? Like you like you signing your soul away or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign my soul. I just want my license, nigga. Yeah, just, just let me go. <laughs> I have to I want see you. So, just want my license, yeah, damn. I want to see my kids. <laughs> <laughs> you got more work to do, young man. <laughs> God, I mean, if you yeah, want to see all the white people, bro. And you at the DMV, you doing something wrong. Hey, what you drinking tonight? I'm drinking everything. What you want? You want Panther Poison? I don't know. I don't want this shit. <laughs> I don't want it. Fade, fade on that pull-up. Fade no, on not. that pull-up. I already told you what I'm on. Did you eat? Did you eat before you start drinking, bro? Mm. Of course. What you ate? Man, I have mahi-mahi. I don't know if you know what that is. 
Moo moo. You said moo moo. That nigga said caca poo poo. <laughs> yeah. <Hey>, these niggas. <laughs> mahi mahi. That nigga said ma ma ma. <laughs> hey, you still going? That's crazy. That sound like like what is it, some Chinese food or something like that? Hit one, hey. just stop. Ah, please. What is it? What is it? I'm just asking what it is, sake. man. What is it? Stay right there. Hold on. There's a young lady in the chat. She has a question. Shout out to Buck It with it, your girl. Shout out to Buck with your girl. She said, I'm a Buck fan. How do y'all feel about free agency? Well, Buck It with your girl, shout out to you, man. And Tampa's beautiful, by the way. Uh, we're feeling great over here. We're doing, real, we're doing real good. Doing real good over here. How about yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. How do you feel about losing Devin White? Let me know in the chat. How you feel about losing Devin White? Man, they lost a lot of players. They got them on defense. Well, they got Mike Gillis. Wait, wait, wait. They lost like four starters. Hey, like four hey, starters. hey. Big Cat, I'm about to get on you. Get on me? Where? Clean, clean it up. Clean yeah. it up. Hold tight. Breaking clean news. Up. Breaking news. Marquise oh. Hollywood Brown has signed with the Kansas City Chiefs. Mar Man, Marquise Hollywood it. Brown has signed with the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, they Chiefs. got him. Oh, he got him eleven million. Yeah, One year, eleven million. Ball out now. That nigga finna ball out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He got Patrick. Oh, yeah, he finna ball out. Hollywood Brown now. has signed with the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, that's a good I'm picture, do my bro. research later. Damn, I hate yeah, that. Yeah. Well, he's on my fantasy oh. team this year. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga finna go. Crazy. Yeah, that nigga finna go dumb. What you go? Hey, hey, hey! What you gonna put him at? Your flex? Yeah, he's gonna be my flex. I ain't gonna make him my number one flex? receiver. Yeah, I'm gonna make him my flex. <laughs> yeah, put him at your flex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be nice. I'll see you again in the championship. Say it again. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to ring? You want to ring? Go play with Pat. Yeah, we're gonna run, we're gonna run it back. We definitely gonna run it back here. <laughs> Shout out to Bucket with your girl. She said most fans don't care for Derek White or Devin White. His play has dropped over the years, but I wish him the best in Philly. Mm. Yeah, I mean, well, you guys, yeah, everybody, like, you defense, said, the whole defense about gone. Yeah, gone you sound like Panthers fans. Man. Bucket with your girl. That, that's how we feel about Brian Burns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say one more time. I think, I mean, Devin White was just, I mean, he was just getting a little older, I guess. I don't know how, I mean, he just, you know how it is. No, I don't know what happened. I mean, what happened, man? I don't know what happened to him. I mean, I, I mean, shit. Hmm. We already know what happened to Brian Burns. You know, you, do you remember when they, when uh, uh, Tom Brady was, uh, made it to the playoff and they, um, you remember Devin White and Levante David, they single-handedly, <laughs> Got Tom Brady yep. to the Super Bowl. You remember who was it against the Saints? They're the yeah, reason yeah, why yeah, the Saints yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, damn, and them boys are balling out. Remember they had like two interceptions? Balling, boy. Yeah. And then it's funny how time, is bro. Crazy. Yeah. Because the defense crazy, was pretty. Bro. The defense was good before Tom Brady got right. there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So they 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 just had put a little more pieces to it, yeah. and you see what happened. Man, time flies, man. One day you're one of the greatest yeah. players in the world, and now you ain't shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who's this? You already, you already know this. What, what's going on? You already fade? No, I'm perfect. Oh. How much you weigh? Huh? How much you weigh? Do what? How much do you weigh? Oh, man, I'm about 250. Why? What's going on? <laughs> That's it. That's, about uh, you lie. that's it. That's it. Yeah. How are you lie? <laughs> I'm not lying. I already, I already know you. That nigga pressing you, big cat. Oh yeah. Damn. That's how. Yeah. I'm with you. Wait. Where did that come from? Oh God. Oh what? Well, the... How about how much more money do you need? Sure. Huh? I told you you should probably 
Hello? Who's that? Say just fuck it with your girl. Oh, okay. What's up? What's up? Hey. Yeah, I'm doing good. How you guys doing? All right. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Living good. Feeling better. Huh? Sounds about good. Mm -hmm. All right. What you think about Baker Mayfield being your quarterback now? If I'm going to be honest, I have never been a Baker Mayfield fan. Um, yeah, right. To me, he's average, and I don't think he's consistent enough. But okay. I think the majority of the Bucks fan base Back. and the media and, and the Bucks fan base, they just overhyped him to me. Yeah, you might be right about that. You might just be yeah, overhyped. Yeah, well, I'll tell you why. Because even when we drafted Kyle Trask, whatever, I never he got, like, instant – Back it. And I never understood oh. that. And then as soon as Baker came over here, they're like, oh, yeah, like, we're going to do this. Tom Brady. Brady, shut your mouth. Let the lady talk. Let the lady talk. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let her talk. Shut the hell up. <laughs> like, you know, they just start, you know, saying all this and everything. And uh -huh. oh. if I, I want you guys to listen to this uh -huh. and tell me if, if I'm missing something. Right. Okay. So the reports you came out. You know that it's going to be a quarterback competition, right? Mm -hmm. Between Kyle Trask and Baker Mayfield. Uh huh. So a majority of the Bucks fans say, "Well, no, they didn't sign Baker to a year and four million for him to be a backup." Okay, so we get to training camp. Mind you, before training camp, you know they were saying Kyle Trask wasn't doing all that good, whatever. Okay. Training camp and practice, Kyle Trask was beating. Baker Mayfield in practice. Q2, the first preseason game, he only, Baker only played two drives in the preseason game against the Steelers. The first yeah. one went three and out. The second one, he got a touchdown. He didn't play for the rest of the... She cut that off real quick. What? It's crazy. I'm sorry, that was... That was my mom. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Do your thing, baby. We, we, we. Um, yeah. yeah. So he didn't play the rest of the preseason games. Kyle Trask did. Mm -hmm. So then they announced Baker won the starting job. Does that sound like a, a quarterback competition to you? It sounded like he was like he was more popular. He was more popular than Kyle Trask, and you know Baker Mayfield and all that. Um, yeah. So he just basically just won off that. You know what's funny about that? When he was with us in Carolina, he went through a similar thing with Sam Darnold. And um, <laughs> Sam Darnold kind of beat him out in a quote-unquote yeah, quarterback yeah. competition mm -hmm. here. But he, was, he was more popular. I mean, yeah. I guess he was more, yeah, he had a playoff win yeah. against Pittsburgh when he was at the Browns and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you this, man. I – I think Baker might be in for a rough season. I I don't want to say he was in for a fluke last year, but um, it's hard for Lightning to strike twice again. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He Baker caught Lightning either. in the bottle. He caught Lightning in the bottle. Yeah, I, I don't think. I'm not, he, I'll tell you what his problem is. Only one me, person that caught that. For me, I think it's just he if if his first read is not there, he panics. Oh yeah. He panics, and I think if it's up against really like we saw what it was like when we played talent that was way better than us, teams that are like top ten teams. He he gets rattled. He can't do nothing, right? Mm -hmm. And to me, at at this point in his career, I get it. You're 27. You know, you want to be a starter. I do think that these next three years, um, it's going to be very hard for him. Because, okay. like I be trying to tell Bucks fans, I'm like, I get he has moxie or, or whatever they be saying. Yeah. But what did he bring to this franchise that we didn't already have? Mm. 
he didn't bring anything different. You can't say he brought, you know, winning culture because Tom Brady came over here. We won the Super Bowl the first year. The second year, we went 13-4. and four. The best franchise season um, record we've ever had. Yeah. So we had success before he came over here. We improved one game. Yeah, yeah. And we were on a, a losing streak. And reports came out after the season he was going to lose his job. Mm. So, like I tell Buckfield now, I don't want to hear no excuses this season. Because yeah. people say, well, it's the O-line. I'm like, why do y'all do that? Why is it that when a team win, Baker did it? When we lose, it's everybody else's fault. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I, I don't know why. I just I keep forgetting that Baker even played for us for some reason. It, it's, it's like I can remember Teddy Bridgewater before I remember Baker Mayfield for some reason. It just it went so fast with Baker. It's just like damn, he was on the Carolina Panthers. Like damn. But I, I think I think this what it, what makes our division so special at this at this point in time. Okay. I think it's because everyone's pretty much sort of starting over. Mm -hmm. So, like, the Falcons, they brought in Raheem Morris. He was the former head coach for Tampa. Okay. He signed Kirk Cousins, whatever. But he's been signing, you know, some good receivers. We lost our number one cornerback in Carlton Davis. Which, to me, it screams a lot because a lot of teams – before, um, and this is our problem before Brady, too, is that they didn't have to run against us. They passed. They passed the ball, and we're not good at that. So that mm-hmm. means we're putting in third-year Zion McCollum, which that means that Todd Bowles believes that Zion McCollum is going to be the cornerback one. And I say that because our other corner, Jamel Dean, he has never played a full season. Oh, so yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. He, Y'all just got rid of Carlton Davis, man. Yeah. Then y'all, then y'all lose a defensive line too. Uh, Shaq Barrett, but Shaq, uh, he, not him, the other guy, the uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I think he like Hawaiian or something like that. Now we, uh, have- he was a defensive lineman, or was he an offense? Wait, no, he was a defensive lineman. Uh, I, th- I think I know you talking about. But, yeah, he's he was a starter. He's gone. Yeah, but with our new our draft picks from last year with Kalaja Kansi and Yaya, I think that Ty's going to put more faith in them. But, I mean, you guys are in a new, a unique position, too, because now you have Dave Canales, who, again, former, we'll see, from Tampa. You have a young guy in Bryce. You guys are getting younger and wide receiver you signed two offensive line guys um you guys ran the ball well against us um you know this season so for baker Mayfield, i think for people to say we're the nfc south champs whatever because we have baker mayfield i think if he can't elevate his game and really take over in three years gonna be a wash for me and I think this puts more pressure on him than he, than I think he or most Bucks fans realize. Well, I think putting your faith in Baker is a mistake anyway. Like I said, I just think he just caught. Sometimes, you know, shit happens to, uh, you know, freak, freak accident almost. But uh, Baker definitely is a, a guy who is very moxie. He, he has, uh, you know, he has the animal in him where he'll, he'll make offbeat plays, off script plays. But, you know, you have to be like, he, so I'll tell you this. The best example of what Baker is, he's a fake Patrick Mahomes. You know how Patrick Mahomes goes off script and make plays? Mm-hmm. And he makes a lot of those plays routinely. Well, Baker does that, you know what I mean? But, you know, obviously I think it worked out last year, but I don't expect that this year, man. And I just don't know what's going on with Chris Godwin either, you know, because he kind of regressed last year, man. So, um, but, you know. Well, yeah, when his wife came out and called Todd Bulls out for it, what? Oh, really? What did she call him off for? She made a, a Instagram post um, basically calling out, you know, the Bucks offense and staff and everything like that. 
And then I guess like after that, after she posted that, like his numbers started getting better or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But um yeah, I I'm more excited to see what a lot of a lot of teams in our division. Oh, I got his name for you. His name Nick 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 Levine. Nick Levine. Oh, Nick Leverett. Yeah, yeah, he went to the Patriots. He went to the Patriots. He was our offensive guard. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I already told Bucks fans, I'm like, if we're going to be serious about this draft, our top priorities is the trenches. So I I believe first round, we need to draft an offensive guard. Second round, you get you a, a defensive end. Third, going to be corner. Because Jordan Whitehead coming back. Who, who's your offensive coordinator this year? Who's your offensive coordinator? Oh, Liam Cohen. And he's from where? He was the passing game coordinator over at the Rams, and then he went back to Duke. But this mm. signing to me didn't make any sense because I get, like, he has – you know, rapport with Baker when Baker went to the Rams. But I'm like, okay, but that was only for like five weeks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. like you weren't the OC over there. And to me, it's he too flippy floppy. Like he was with the Rams, he went back to college. He went back to the Rams, he went back to college. We already Damn. Saw, yeah. So we already saw we already saw like you know our OC. He did a year. He went to the Panthers. So I can't sit here and say. This OC is gonna stay after this season. Hey, Big Cat, right, you, you remember the heat I took on this channel when I told you Baker Mayfield was the guy? Yeah. I took I, I took so much. Let me tell you something. It what what you saw was not an accident. Baker Mayfield is exactly what I knew he would be when they when he when the when the Browns drafted him. Okay, he played. He's played for. He's had I think eight. In seven years, he's had eight or nine offensive coordinators. Okay, he's getting settled. He he's found a place to play in Tampa. He's going to do exactly what he did last year, if not better. The guy is one of the most accurate deep ball passers in the league. Okay, so it wasn't an accident. Don't forget, in two of the four years he played in Cleveland, he got to the playoffs. Cleveland hadn't been to the playoff in twenty-five years before Baker got there. So it, 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 he's not an accident. He's a damn good quarterback. He's not Patrick Mahomes. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is what you what you saw last year, you can plan on watching that going forward. He's a good quarterback. Now, can I ask you, at what, what point are you talking about? Pardon me? What what point are you talking about? Like, no. when, you, like when you say, I can expect more of that. District well, because I w I've watched Baker Mayfield when he played at Texas Tech. I'm a, I've watched him play in Cleveland. I watched him in Oklahoma. I watched him uh, when he came Carolina. He had a very short stint, uh, but he went to the Rams and he started to started to get comfortable. He grew up. Okay, he got he got that chip off his shoulder. And don't forget this guy is a, don't forget this guy was a walk on twice. He 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 showed up at Texas Tech and said, "Hey, I want to try out for your football team." He goes on to win the Heisman Trophy uh, as a walk-on. No other, no other player has done that. Okay, so he's been a fighter his whole life, and he's still young. So what we saw last year, you could see it coming when he went to the Rams. I, I could still see Big Cat after that game, that Rams game, and, and Big Cat know what he saw. You saw it, Big Cat. You you know what you saw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. About, you talking about when uh, when he won after being traded? Yeah, when he went there and beat the Raiders with that uh, 90, 98 yard drive with no timeouts left. Yeah, that was crazy. That was okay, crazy. this is what he does, and and he did it in L.A. and he did it last year in Tampa. Well, you know, don't forget, Tampa was three and seven. They went, they finished the, they went six and one down the stretch, at crunch time when he had to perform, and he did. So I'm saying it's not an anomaly. I'm not saying they're going to win the Super Bowl. I'm just saying. The real Baker showed up, and it, 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 it's gonna it's gonna continue. Will the real it Baker wasn't... please stand up? Yeah, you don't you don't throw those kind of numbers out there by accident, a big cat. Uh, four four thousand yards, twenty eight touchdowns, ten interceptions. He he had the most accurate deep ball uh, arm in the league. 
or he's in the top three or four, I think. I don't, I don't want to misquote. But I read somewhere that any between 20 and 40 yards, he was the most accurate passer. And that doesn't surprise me. That's what he did in Cleveland. Okay? He's got one of the biggest arms in the league. Josh Allen said Baker's arms better than his. So the point is, it wasn't an accident. And uh, Tampa's got their quarterback. They made the right call on this one. Well, I'll say this, Andrew. Uh, Thanks, she just said that they got a fucking college OC. I think Dave Canales. I think people are gonna see how much Canales had a impact on Baker this year because I don't. I don't see it being a repeat this year. Yeah, I mean, especially now with Atlanta improving like they have, you know, and even Carolina is starting to uh, make the right moves. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not picking Tampa to win, but what the only reason I called it was because, you know. I, I wanted to throw my two cents in. I'm, I'm, everyone knows here on this channel since I've come on that I like Baker Mayfield. That's why I really started paying attention to Carolina when they got him. But the point is, he's, he's not an accident. He's he's good quarterback, and uh, he's he's going to throw. He's going to come out again and and ball out again, um, especially with uh, that the team pretty much stayed intact. So that that can only help him. Well, I, I listened to everything you said, and I agree with you. I don't think he's terrible um, at all. Um, and I, you know, especially with our O-line last year, um, you know, it wasn't great. But there have been a lot of times where he saved us when he, um, you know, was able to get out of sacks and everything. But my, my point is, I think, what I be, me and some other Bex fans are trying to you know, just get their eyes open to is we don't want to become like the Saints. Like the Saints became perennial um, playoff contenders, but they could never get over that hump. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. go to the championship, you know, whatever. Well, the thing with Baker Mayfield is you don't need an, you can get by with a, a subpar offensive line because he gets rid of the ball so fast. Okay, he, he's like in the top three or four in the league. He, he gets that ball out in less than 2.3 seconds. That's fast. Okay, so that that means he, he, he doesn't need that much protection when he's getting rid of the ball that fast. So th that's one of the things uh, that, he, he, that he does well is he, he can go through his progressions really quick. And uh, that's a big advantage when you're trying to get rid of that ball is you, you pretty much get the picture where, where the open receiver is going. And, uh, you know, so that, that, you know, the offensive line was good enough. Let's put it that way. Well, I, that's, that would be something I have to disagree with only because especially last season, I've, we've saw so many times where he's in the pocket. If his first is not there, like I said, he panics, he's, he's pump taking a lot. Um, and sometimes it just did not help the team. Now, in the beginning of the season, obviously, because it's a new OC and, you know, these are new players, I didn't expect them to, you know, gel and put up 30 points or things like that. And I, I give him credit when credit's due, especially. Did you, you know, know in the playoffs, did you know in the playoffs his, his average time before he threw the ball was 1.8 seconds? That's Who does that? Who does that? You know, so uh, I want to say is he, he doesn't get a lot of sacks, and it's not because of the line. He doesn't get a lot of sacks is because he gets rid of the ball, and uh, that 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 that's a big help for an offensive line. Think of a think of it. Think of how many times we saw Bryce Young back there just holding on to that ball, and that's why it caused a lot of us, not all of them, but a lot of his sacks. And I think that's what caused that rift between him and Bradley Bozeman because Bozeman said, "You're going to get sacked if you don't throw the fucking ball," you know. So, um, you know, it helps. It helps. So let's put it that way. Well, you know, I just, I would have to agree to disagree on that. But, um, yeah, like I said, like, to me, I don't see it. Um, but I'm not, like, not happy he's on our team or whatever. I mean, he's on our team. He's on our team. So, of course, I'm going to root for him, you know, and everything like that. And, you know, obviously, I was happy we were able to get and select the playoffs and everything like that. But, you know, I just think these next three years will be interesting, uh, especially if he can live up to that contract. 
Um, but like I said, like a lot of teams in the NFC South, they're getting very, very. Oh, yeah. I think this would be like one of the most interesting drafts for this um, for this division that we've kind of seen in a while. I feel like you. I feel like Dave Canales as a head coach, he's going to go offensive heavy in this draft. Um, you know, saying kind of like with Atlanta. I don't know what the Saints are doing. No, what do I don't. Really. What you know about Dave? What, what, what can you tell me about Davey boy? Dave, <laughs> he is a, a high energy guy. Number one, he's very high energy. He's very positive. Um, when you, especially if you watch his press conferences, when when they ask him questions, he's gonna. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, take, take your time. Take your time. Sweetie. He's gonna be very very in-depth answers, like where you're like, okay, this guy knows exactly what he's talking about, but if you've watched the Bucks in the beginning of the season, you go to see this thing where it's like, what are you doing? Like, he, he, I wouldn't say he's predictable, but it gets to the point where it's like, yo, why on this down are we running up the gut? And our, you'll know our, our interior O-line is not that great. Now, I get it. Last year was his first year, um, you know, calling plays. And it seemed like towards the end of the season, it got better. That's because um, the running game showed up. Yeah. So, it, um, I think, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. I think with Dave. Um, you're getting a, a young guy who a lot of players love playing for. I think you're getting a guy that is very smart. Um, there are going to be times when, you know, you kind of do get frustrated with him in the game plan. But um, I think you guys have a, a good OC and, and head coach for the next couple of years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like him. I like his energy, man. To me, I, I, I think he may be a little over chippery. I kind of like I kind of like guys who are down to earth, you know, kind of see it for what it is. But I don't I don't mind that charisma. You know what I mean? Shit, man, somebody got to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't I don't mind it. But sometimes I like okay, settle down now. This is what really going on, and here's what it is. So he won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he get it. You know I mean? He's a cut that way, man. <laughs> right. I respect that. Cause not everybody has that demeanor. You know what I mean? Right. You know, he's he's always kind of looking at the grass. It's always greener, and you know, shit. I respect that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not that guy. I kind of see things. For yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that guy either. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm not mad at it. I, I, I can't be mad at it. You know. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's kind of infectious. You know, if if you if you are exerting a positive attitude and confidence in your team, it, it gets in, it's infectious. I think that's something that the Panthers haven't had. I mean, if you're waiting for Frank Reich to motivate you, it's going to be a long fucking wait. Sending <laughs> yeah. a guy that, you know, a lot of players, they have a lot of respect for him. Um, you know, he's young, so that's a plus. And, you know, the players love playing for him. And a lot of our, you know, offensive guys were sad to see him go. But I think, you know, he is going to help prepare Bryce a little bit going forward. Now let me ask you this: I'll, I'll be question here. How old are you? you? Seem seem very mature to be a um, a football fan. How old are you? Twenty five. Nice, nice. So, what got you into uh, watching Tampa Bay? Oh, my whole family is pretty much uh, Tampa Bay fans. Um, my um cousin Dexter Jackson, he actually played for Get them. Get the fuck out of here! That's your cousin. Yeah. You talking about the quarterback, the Super Bowl quarterback? Yeah. Get the fuck own. out of here. <laughs> so, That's dope, man. That's dope as shit. I know Dex. That's it. You're not bullshitting me, are you? No, I'm, I'm not. Nice, nice. We have pictures and stuff. And um, my mom told me, you know, she she was like, yeah, when you were little. Because the, when they won the Super Bowl, I was in, I was in preschool. Mm-hmm. So I don't really remember. But she was like, yeah, like, you know, he has, you know, um, daughters and um, at the time this was I think the year they they won um, you know he was having a birthday party for his daughters up there and the whole 
you know, Buck's team came out with their kids, and she was like, yeah, and Rondé and John, they took turns holding you while you were asleep, everything like that. Oh, but, um, you know, my dad, he's a he's a huge Bucks fan. So as a kid, I I love the Bucks so much that like my dad, when he would pick me up from school, he have like the Bucks radio on. I did current event, um, current event homework on the Bucks. And, you know, I watched, you know, the tailgating of the Bucks, everything like that. And I was just like, man, like. You know, I really just, for my birthday, I really want to go to a Bucks game and everything like that. And, um, you know, when I had got my own job and everything, I saved up money. That's what I did um, for my 17th birthday. Nice. I took my me and my brother to a Bucks game. So. Yeah, I remember yeah. that game, man. That, that They beat the Raiders. They beat Rich Gannon. And he had two picks in that game. Mm-hmm. He bought out that game. Hey, we we didn't know what was going on. We we're like, oh yay! Like, we were, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. She has pictures of like us, you know, at the parade when the Bucks won, and then, you know, where he's originally from. You know, where most of my family are from up there. Mm-hmm. Um, like he went up there with his, you know, wife and kids, and they were signing like autographs for people in the community. So we had went up there with them. And did that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, man. I would like to catch a game with you, man. Come down and get a couple of flicks and then watch some Panthers versus the Bucks game, man. That, that sounds good. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm open for it, man. That's what's up, man. Close to, close yeah. to the season, I'll reach back out with you, man. We'll make that happen. All uh, right, no problem. We'll appreciate that. it. I appreciate you for calling in. Don't be a stranger. I won't. You guys have a good night. Hey, keep out now. All right, bye. All right, peace. Shout out to Bucks girl there, man. I appreciate that. I, that's pretty awesome, man. Um, Dexter Jackson's uh, what's that thing? She said that's his, her cousin there, man. If you guys don't yeah. know who who, who uh, Dexter Jackson was, just go back, watch the Super Bowl when Rich Gannon. I think it was two thousand three. Dexter Jackson was the man. Tell you, man. That's, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty dope, Andrew. I gotta say that, man. Yeah, yeah, I remember him, big cat. Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mhm. Remember John? Did he Lynch play? And... Did he play with the Redskins for a while? Yes. Yes, um, he did. Yeah, yeah, that's who it is. Yeah, I remember him. Mm-hmm. You remember mm-hmm. uh, they won the Super Bowl with fucking Brad Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the immortal, the immortal Brad Johnson. <laughs> you know, so shit, man. I mean, well, I'm sitting there talking about Baker, man. Fuck it. They, if you can get Brad to get a ring, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you, 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 that's where you win. That's what I'm saying. The quarterback has a lot to do with it, but it's the teams win those games, Big Cat. Yes. Team, team teams win Super Bowls. Yes, they do. Okay, you know, um, and you you build the right team, you don't have to have a superstar quarterback to 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 get to a Super Bowl or to win one. Mm-hmm. You know, it helps, but it's not necessary. For sure. I mean, how many times have we seen it happen that way? You know. And that's why I say, um, like, when I, when I look at the landscape, now nah, I don't want to speak too, too prematurely, but based off what I know here, or based off what I'm seeing so far, I think this division is Atlanta's to lose because if Kirk stays healthy, that's if he stays healthy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I, I, agree, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. But the one thing I'm excited about is um, you can see what Dan and, and Dave are doing. Yes. You can see what they're doing. You can see there's a method to the madness here. Okay, they're they're solidifying the spots that we thought they were going to have to go out and get in the draft. Right, exactly. Okay, so that's going to that's going to free them up to really uh, critique the team and make it stronger through the draft without having to worry about oh now we got to go out and find an offensive line and we got to spend our draft picks on an offensive line for Bryce. They've already done that. That's right. Okay, so you can check that box. So this is a smart this, – this is what Fitterer probably never had the opportunity to do. The only defense I can give for Fitterer is because he, he – uh, Kepper had his thumb on his head, and he was telling him what to do. I'm convinced of that more and more. Yes. Okay. And he didn't have the, the cojones to stand up and say, no, I'm not going to do that. I think Dan Morgan does. Yeah. And I think that's why, that's why uh, uh, Kepper said he's going to back out. Of it because I think Dan Morgan said I'll take this job under one condition: get the fuck out of here. You know, yep. yeah, and and that's what's happening. You can see it. You know how bad you know? this thing would have been if Dave Canales came in here 
went out here and got a bunch of receivers in free agency and then mm-hmm. tried to get a bunch of rookies to, bre- to block for Bryce Young. Exactly. That and that was my way. biggest fear. Yeah. But see, that's what we would have done in the past. We would have signed T. Higgins and Hollywood Brown right. and had no money left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we had that offensive line there. Instead, we started with good players who are experienced that, you know, are good at their craft. And and now they're saying, okay, now we're going to go out and we're going to draft pieces, uh, playmakers. Okay, we're going to draft playmakers, and that that's that's uh, that's why I'm excited about what they've done in the draft so far. Yeah. Hey, what do you think are going to be our first couple picks? What position? Uh, you want to take a crack at that, Big Cat? Uh, I think our first couple picks will be uh, wide receiver. I think we're going DN. Really. Yeah, I think I think now we have done enough in free agency to where I'm comfortable with going wide receiver with the third. Yeah, because third. what happens if uh, uh, that guy from Pittsburgh gets hurt in game one? What happens? Yeah. Yep. Yep. We're in the same spot we were yeah. last year. Yeah, if Deontay Johnson gets hurt, you know, maybe yep. guess what? We're what, do you, what do you think about our tight end position? What tight end? Oh, I think we need to draft the tight end. That would have been my – that in my picks would have been a wide receiver, a tight end, and uh, possibly – uh, uh, an edge rusher, because um, I don't think DJ Johnson is gonna gonna um, make it. I don't. I don't think he's got that what it takes. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I don't know about Barno either, really. No, but, no, Barno's too slow to, Barno for that. Team? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I thought that thing was coming. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah. It was going on, big cat. Though this is Nate. Hey, I, man, I, I, I was. I met you in the championship. Man, I appreciate that, man. Did I kick your ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Dude, did. That, I lost both of my championships. Oh, man, man I'm sorry. In your league. In your league. You know what? I, I think you was you was the one that, uh yeah, you lost You lost the uh, championship weekend. You lost on both. Yeah. Yeah, both of the big money leagues, man. I yeah. lost both. You know what, bro? <laughs> I, when, I, when I seen it, because I went back and checked before I paid everything out and shit. I said, my heart goes out to Nate, man, because that 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 had. I know, I heard. I appreciate that good talk on my name, man. That was that was great. I I remember, yeah, I remember that. But you handled it well, man. I I respect. It came down to the last day, right? Right, big cat. It was the last last game. (laughs) It goes like that sometimes, man. That fantasy football shit is wild, man. Yeah. It's the first time I called in. Though I wanted to. Wanted to let you know who I was. Yeah, man. This is the first time I called in. I'm always listening. I've been a. I, I listened to you guys for years now, probably since 2021 or 2020. Mm-hmm. We appreciate that, man. Thank you for that. You and Unc. Yeah, man, we're just a couple bros with a, with a mic. That's all. No doubt, man. You going to join us uh, this year? Yeah, for sure. I'm back in it, man. Good deal, Good deal man. I may, yeah. do a, I may do an exclusive, like a, a big, big one, man. Just like that. Yeah. I'll be with that. Yeah. Like a, maybe like a five ten thousand dollar league, something like that, but just just I'm, you know people I can trust. You know what I mean? I want to do it to everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you. No, I got that. I'll send the money right away. You mm-hmm. got to mark a spot for me on that one, Five, bro. For sure, for sure. <laughs> so now, now tell me about this. You you are a Panthers fan, right? Yes, I am. How you feeling about free agency here, man? And old Dan Morgan. I I I. First of all, he's he's a player, so he's been in the game before. He's a. He, he used to play for the Panthers, so that's a good that's a good sign that I feel like he's doing his job now. I mean, we finally got somebody who's not scared to go out and get some guys and not spooked about David Tepper and all that crap. You know what? I, shout out to uh, Andrew here. Andrew was saying how Dan Morgan really get a chance. Not Dan Morgan, but Scott Federer. I think Scott Fitterer had a different approach. I think mm-hmm. Scott Fitterer told and then, and then, mind you, I'm just speculating. I, I can't prove none of it. I'm speculating. But my speculation is that Scott tried to sell David Tepper a quick fix. Okay? Mm-hmm. And David Tepper bought into the quick fix, but the shit didn't work, you know what I mean? I think Dan Morgan had approached uh Tepper and told him, look. We got a plan, but this plan is going to, you know what I mean? It's going to be one that's going to it's gonna do, you know, we're going to tear it down. You know what I mean? We're going to tear it down. I think after so many tries at it, 
after Matt Rule failed, after Scott Fitter failed, I think finally David Tepper got it through his head. It may be time to tear it down. So shout out to All David right. Tepper for finally giving way because ultimately Tepper has to sign off on this teardown. You can't do shit unless Tepper says do it. So I think after, you know, giving Matt a try and after giving Scott a try, Morgan said, let me tear it down and do it and do it the right way. And then, you know, kudos to Tepper. I think a lot of people have failed to give him credit this offseason. He's been quiet, yeah. but I, I, I appreciate my owner shutting the fuck up. <laughs> um, I, I do like the people we've picked up. Like, I like that defensive pick we – or – uh defensive dude we got today and the Deontay Johnson I'm I'm really excited about that one but I feel like there's like a missing a missing hole somewhere on the offense and it it might be running back it might be tight end I don't know exactly but Miles Sanders got to step up a little bit now that our line is pretty good but somewhere I feel like we might be missing a little something but yeah I know where it is it's running back I mean I don't really trust the running back room just yet Chuba stepping up, which is cool to see, so I'm proud of that. But mm-hmm. there's got to be someone else on the field, like in the backfield. I, I agree with, with running back, and it's like the the pressures can't always be on Bryce. Like they got to be like, oh, we got to watch out for Miles Sanders or somebody like that, like a playmaker in the backfield. It, I, nobody's worried about Bryce at, at, at the same time, but like right. – we got to have another playmaker where it's like not just watch out for Bryce, but watch out for this guy too, you know? Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Do you believe Miles will get it together this year? I mean, I've always liked Miles Sanders, but somebody on the podcast earlier, they had said that Eagles had a really good line when he was good. So yes, now that we're getting our line good, I feel like he's going to step it up because last year he didn't do a thing for us. I, I do feel like you'll have a better year. But, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm about between a rock and a hard place with Miles, man. I'm, yeah. You know, man. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't want to say the guys are not going to get it together here, but it's hard for me to yeah. say. That. I trust them. They're them. average. They're average, yeah. you know. They're not super playmakers, but I feel like you'll have a better year, but I don't think he's going to go out and have some crazy year, but. You know who he reminds me of? Who is that? That damn DeAndre Swift. You remember when DeAndre Swift was with uh, Detroit? He was nailing it. Yeah. And then, uh-huh. you know, ever since then, he just kind of been bouncing around, you know? Yeah. I do like Blackshear, though. That is yes. somebody who's going to be sneaky, though, and he, he's a fast one. I do. I like mm-hmm. that dude. Yeah. They're, they're, I think they're going to put his ass back on special teams, and uh, he'll be in there, you know. Yeah. You know I, I like Blackshear, too. He'll, he, I he's, think he's going to pop one. Yeah, I think Amir and Blackshear are good, like, screen guys or just uh, special teams players. You know, they're they're fast. They're our most fast players on the team, I, w- I would say. But mm-hmm. I like to have those speedy guys. Well, if you I know? gave you the pick at 33rd, who are who you, who you messing with? Who are you trying to get? I don't know, man. I like too You I like got community. nobody you like? I, I like the I like the receiver I like a lot of the receivers this year, but I don't know if I would do our first pick on one of those guys. I, I don't know. Uh, that's why I asked you guys that. Yeah. But man, I maybe, maybe like I don't know if we should go defense. And I feel like yeah. the Bucks fan earlier was saying that she thinks Dave will go offense heavy, and I kind of agree with that. So I feel like. If not our first, but our first couple might be offensive. But I, I feel like we need a tight end. Mm-hmm. Tommy's all right, but that's not enough. And I don't know why we signed Ian again. That's what are we waiting for on Ian, man? He's yeah. he's he ain't doing nothing. I'm, I'm gonna... Tommy got a couple touchdowns, you know. But we need a we need a, a better tight end. I feel like we let go of Hayden Hurst. I think Logan Thomas is a free agent or something, but I don't see us going after him. But that would be a good thing to go for in the draft, tight end. I'm gonna tell you this: I don't I'm, know. I'm willing to bet money that the Panthers get a tight end in the draft. I think they're gonna get it probably around the fourth yeah, or fifth. Yeah, I agree with that. Not maybe not the first pick or no. second pick, but no. we're gonna get we're gonna we gotta get a tight end. If if I'm the Panthers, and now listen, I like DJ Wanham. I like, uh, you know, the guys. I do in. too. But 
I think we need to have a young, promising, upcoming guy like a Chop Robinson or somebody like that. So what I would do is this right here, man. I would turn around. Hopefully somebody slides to us at that 39 pick. 39 is still what? We're still early second round, right? Yeah, we got 33 and 39, which yes. is pretty close. So, I feel like we're all right. Yeah, even though we're, we're great, not in the first round. Great position. Yeah, I, even though we're not in the first round, I'm not too worried about it, you know? I, yeah. I feel like we're – we got – the first pick in the second round, so that's a good mm -hmm. thing. That's a whole new day. It's first pick of the second day of the draft. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm trading that 33rd back and picking up another second round and probably a third round and probably like a fifth round. So you get your mm -hmm. second back, you'll get a third round and a fifth round. I mean, you, you look, because we're right there at the – you know what I mean? We're right there at it. So let's say – we go from 33rd to like what? 49 or something. But we still mm -hmm. got our 39 pick. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So then with that 39 pick, you probably still have some good value on the board. Hopefully Chop is there. Or maybe, you know, let's say, because here, here, here's how I think it's going to go, brother. And again, I'm not a genius or nothing. I think yeah. it's, it's going to start off, it's going to be a heavy run on wide receivers in the first. Yes, top dude. 10. I agree yeah. with that, bro. Yeah. I do. Mm hmm. First I, 15 picks I, are going to have a lot of wide receivers in them, I bet you. Right. I'm from Seattle, too, and so the Huskies, they got, they got a few good receivers. And I, I know Adunze is going fast, but I feel like Polk might still be there at 39 or yeah. maybe 33, maybe 39. Oh, yeah. I like that dude from the the Ducks, uh, Troy, Troy Franklin yeah. or something like that. That's him. That's him, yeah. I, I like that guy, but I feel like – Jonathan Mingo did all right last year. I don't know. What do you think about that? Yeah, Jonathan Mingo didn't really come out of shell, but I can't really blame him because uh Yeah, you know the quarterback yeah. played off of the line. I'll tell you this, if you really want to see what Jonathan Mingo could bring to the to the table, go watch that Seattle game where we play Seattle. And Hey, I was there. I'm from oh, Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> I was at that game. I yeah. was there. Yeah, man. Andy uh -huh. Dalton and Andy Dalton had Mingo looking good until he got knocked out. You know he got knocked out of that game. Man. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But he played so well, man. I was like, wow, man, Mingo's mm -hmm. really looking good here. I had him on my I fantasy. Lost a lot of, I lost a lot on that game too, yeah. man. Like, cause I like to see them beat the Seahawks. Yeah. And I feel like if Andy would have started the game out, I feel like well, no, he did start that did, game yeah. actually because Bryce was hurt. They had a band aid on his knee or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. We, we were up at halftime by like a point or a couple points or something. I thought we were going to get that, but we didn't. But mm -hmm. all right. I think we're going to step it up. I'm glad to see the O line getting reinforced, but I don't know what kind of idea the $100 million was, though. I don't, yeah. I don't like that. But, don't yeah, that, they, they overpaid for uh, Robert Hunt from Miami. Yes. And now, listen, I'm not saying that Robert Hunt's a bad guard. He, he's an okay guard. He's an up and, you know, he's above average. He's not yeah. average. He's slightly above average. He's not a great, not a, you know what I mean? But yeah, I, I, at this point, I think they kind of scared about Bryce. You know what I mean? I think they're, one, mm -hmm. they're okay with yeah, paying no, a couple, no. couple million over the, over the cap. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I agree. But you know what? Like I was telling my brother Andrew here, I would rather them mm -hmm. overpay for an above average guard than them go out mm -hmm. here and draft a rookie and then the excuse be, well, he's a rookie. He couldn't protect them. It's too games too fast. He got to learn how to get used to the NFL speed. Yeah. I don't want to hear that shit. I want yeah. this boy to have it. I want this boy to have zero excuses. You hear me? Yeah. Right. When, when, I, I do. When, listen, when we finish playing that last game, I want to hear Bryce had time, Bryce had protection, Bryce had weapons, Bryce mm -hmm. had a – I don't want to hear no excuses. You so, know, I, I see him go through his progressions, but it's it's kind of hard to have time when you don't have a line. But it's, yeah. he does look a little skittish, but I feel like that's because of the line, you know? Yeah. And I feel like it'll go – it'll be better and stuff. And mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like he'll do a little better. but uh, That too, so, and plus, plus Bryce is an overthinker. I don't. I heard you say, "Is he gonna throw for?" I think it was. What would you say? Yes. Would you ask yesterday? It was like thirty two hundred or yeah, thirty five hundred. They, they got Bryce on, on prize picks slated to throw for thirty one hundred yards. You got him over or under that. I 
I think that's doable. I mean, Adam Adam don't drop balls. I mean, Deontay can he's known for dropping a little bit, but mm-hmm. I feel like with those that duo, like that's doable, bro. Yeah. I I would say so. I like listening to you and Andrew because you guys know your football. Yeah, that's I my mean, guy. Andrew's a good guy, man. That's my brother right there. So I'd like to I'd like to know what his uh, two cents are on that, but yeah, I think Andrew got I, off okay. here. But uh, you're right, man. You're absolutely right, man. I, I think um, you know what I mean, Bryce. He it, it's it's really hard to judge him off that first year. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's so it unfair. Is. So unfair. Like you said, he had two coaches, you know. Yeah. Uh, play call, whoever was calling the plays that got switched around a couple times, mm-hmm. maybe even a few, or whatever. So. Yeah. And it can't be him. Yeah, he definitely can't had, totally... he had a uh, fucking Reich. He had a uh, what's his name? Uh, Thomas Brown. It was just yeah. I and they got him. switched back and forth, bounced back and yeah, forth between. Yeah. That's like yeah. kind of being in the gangbang, you know what I mean? You don't know who's mm-hmm. coming in, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, could you imagine trying I... to learn? One, two, one, two, next. Yeah. You know I, mean? <laughs> I also thought it was cool that you asked uh, Homegirl about Dave and how he wor- operates and stuff. Yeah. And, I feel like he did do better towards the end of the year and stuff, and he did win a playoff game, so, you know, so yeah. that's a good sign, man. Shout out to Bucket with your girl. Yeah, man, she called and gave us some great insight on that, man, and I just wanted to kind yeah, of see what, what you said. About. You know what I mean? Great insight, great insight. Yeah. Feel free to call back in, too. I'm going to have to do a video with you, man, when it's time to play play the Bucks, man. I would like to get some content with you. you know I mean, so... Mm-hmm. Hey, I won't be a stranger, too, man. Hey, don't be a stranger, man. We we here, man. We just a couple guys that love the Panthers, man. But I got to tell you, man, I, I feel good. I, you know what I mean? I do, too. Real good. I do, too. Now, I don't, like I said before, I, I want to make it clear, I don't think we're going to win a lot of games. But I think we're headed in the right direction, shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I feel like I'm, I'm, not the, I'm not the best on calling it, like, oh, we're going to have a good year, like, or we're going to win this many games because mm-hmm. I get excited every year and I get let down. That's kind of what a Panthers fan, how it is to be a Panthers fan right now the last few years. But, yeah. I mean, I feel good about the year. Yeah, I mean, the way they're built. Definitely thing, a better offense than last year. Oh, you know what I mean? For sure, for sure. That's one for sure fact. So I, I know we're putting up more than ten points. Uh, can I guarantee you that? Yeah. <laughs> can't hey, guarantee you that. They, yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was I was elated when we took out the Texans. I was like, wow, this that was cool. That was cool to watch. Yeah, man. I don't know how we did it, but we did that. That get that was a little sign of spark from from that boy Bryce. But yeah, um, I think that was. A, was you know what I'm worried about is kind of the deep ball. I, I don't know. I just want to touch on that a little bit. I don't know what you think about that. Well, Bryce doesn't have the the biggest arm in the world. Right. I I went. I go through his highlights. I watched all of his games. I don't see him throwing those sixty yards. No, fifty. Like there's there's none of that. Yeah, and that's why I was trying to say like when when it comes to these receivers, people gotta understand. People, you know, they do mock drafts and they do their little highlights. You can't yeah. just say, oh, this guy runs a 4-3 draft. From, oh, this guy does. No, we're looking for a no. specific type of receiver. We're looking for mm-hmm. guys that have quick twitch fibers in them that can get open fast. Mm-hmm. You know why? All the, listen, you, you can run a 4-5, and your ass could be hard to stop if you got quick twitch muscles. I mean, yeah. if, you're, if you're a guy that can move quickly, even though you may not have straight straight line speed, you're a threat. You're, mm-hmm. you're, you know what I mean? I'll take a guy who uh, runs a four five over a guy who runs a four three, but he's quicker than a guy who runs a four three, and that's what I we agree. need. We don't need no big Xavier Legat. You got to bust a nigga open and push him. Yeah. No, that's that's not the worthy. Yeah, running yeah. a four twenty one or whatever. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm gonna tell you this. I don't give a shit if we got to do drag routes and crossing routes for fucking sixty minutes. Yeah, if it can get open. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? the best route runner in the league. Man, yeah. that's what they say. So I'm excited. Right, but uh, the fast and twitchy makes me reminds me of 
DJ Chark, is he gone or is he still no, on the DJ team? DJ Chark's gone somewhere. I think he's working at uh, Tackle and Real. You ever heard of Tackle and Real? No. Yeah, it's a fish bait place. That's what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad he's gone, man. You know what I mean? He ain't making tackles and reels no more. Right. Man. That, ain't, that ain't cool. You, you don't need a receiver that you got to sit in the pocket, wind up, and throw it. You know what I mean? That's not realistic. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, let me tell you something. The average play usually lasts anywhere between, like, what? You know, five, six seconds. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it's a really quick, simple process. If you got a good, o, if you got a good O line, you can extend it a little bit more. But it's a bang bang kind of situation, okay? Mm-hmm. So, with that being said, if you ain't got a Will Levis kind of arm or Anthony Richardson kind of arm, you got to get mm-hmm. receivers that can get slippery and get open. I think if we had yeah, DJ spread, Moore, spread the field out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, you know, I think you know Bryce's biggest balls are going to come off of play action. So if we can establish the run. Yeah. Those balls that you're talking about, those deep balls, you don't see them when, mm-hmm. when play action come around. I mean, you want you ain't going to see them yeah. sit back in the pocket for like 10 minutes and throw it. But, yeah. But the play action game will be definitely there. Yeah. Um, one of my dark horses on the on the offense is Amir, though. Yeah. I, he's fast and he, he he's a good, sneaky, good player, man. I, I like that dude. Yeah, I like Amir, man. Um, he's a perfect fit within Adam – and Deontay Johnson, you know, and then we got Amir. He's quick, you know. I, but there's still something missing on the offense, you know. There's something that makes me feel like something ain't right. I feel like it can be running back, maybe tight end. I don't know. I'm definitely running back, but not for sure, brother. For sure, yeah. that's that's making me feel a little suspect about our offense, bro. I'm you're, not gonna lie to you. Right. You're absolutely right. Your suspicions are very warm yeah. because I'm with you. Yeah. You know? Right. So if the, we can handle or change some of them, which I don't know how we're going to, because we, we just signed Blackshear. Mm-hmm. We we got to keep two, but he's on a deal. And then Miles got like one more year. So I don't see us going and getting another back. Yeah. Sprint, Spencer's Brown's out of here, though. No, we're going to get another back. You think so? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get somebody. Dra- Cause I think they, I think they're okay with cutting Mouse uh, Sanders. I think they're gonna wait hey, to I see what it does. So Say that again. Can we, can we trade him? I feel like we could trade him. You can whatever. trade him. You can trade him, but I don't think he, he has any real value right now. But mm-hmm. uh, I, I think they're gonna wait until around training camp, or, or, or you know what I mean, to see. I think there's gonna yeah. be a competition for number one or number. Another, two. another good thing is the. But, uh, I don't really think Chuba or Miles is like an every down back no. or even a fourth or a fourth down back, you know? No. I, I don't see them as that. But they are they're they're average backs, I mean. So yeah. if you go back and watch tape on Chuba Hubert and even my well not Miles, but just check out Chuba Hubert. He had a great year, but a great He started year for out him. slow. Yeah, the dude Look, literally was yeah. had like he had a couple games where he just had like eighty, ninety yards, but you know what you used to bring up a lot? You yourself you used to say that he would fumble all the time. And ever since you said that, he stepped up with that. So that's kind of exciting. So, mm-hmm. Oh, slippery feet. Yeah, oh, slippery feet. <laughs> <laughs> that's my name for my, <laughs> my Chuba Hubert. Chip Slippery Feet. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm with you. You're right. You're, you, listen, you're a smart man. I got to tell you that because appreciate I'm it. the same way there's still a piece or two missing from this offense it's it's i feel it's making me feel like i can't be too excited with this offense yet mm-hmm. just yet but and yeah that's what i'm thinking right now is tight end running back i don't know i don't know I just, it's not complete it's not 100 percent. i don't think so trust me they're listening and i think they're going tight end probably, yeah. probably about the fourth round and I also think they're going running back later. Somebody's going to be there in the fifth round for running back. Uh, what do you, what do you think we'll, we'll do with this little money we got? Do you think we'll go defense, another mm-hmm. defensive player, or something like that? Yeah, yeah, great question. So, so, so from what I heard, uh, Clowney was in the building late tonight, and Clowney walked out the building tonight, and he's going. To yeah, I, I heard about that too. But yeah. what about the safety position? That's we're we're horrible at safety, bro. That's yeah. another problem. You know what? It's not hard to put a young guy back there. I mean, if you put if you put a guy yeah. who's 
who's uh, you know played that position pretty well in yeah. college, I would be okay uh-huh. with that. You know what I mean? Uh, the Jamie Robinson guy, he's not a dog. I, uh, I don't. <laughs> uh, what's what's that other guy, Xavier? Or Xavier Woods. Woods. Yeah. yeah, he's missing tackles and shit. And Jamie is too. And I see it. They're missing tackles and shit. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've seen Eddie Jackson. I think is a free agent. So I was like, ooh, that might be a good pickup. But that's just. I would like that signing. That would make me feel better about the defense. But sure. I hope JC can stay healthy. Yeah. Listen, man. I I would do this, man. I would. I would go safety in the draft because like I said, if you find like somebody who played college ball and they play safety real well, because safety is not like cornerback, right? So safety, you're mm-hmm. literally just protecting the top of your defense. Like cor- yeah. cornerback, you know, you want somebody who you know can hold it down pretty much on every play because it wasn't be mad at his own. But Which is safety, JC if he's healthy. Yeah, but safety, you pretty much literally when they take a shot deep, you just got to be there to, to defend it. You know what I mean? And you got to yeah. be able to come up and be able to hit in the box or whatever. So I'm not saying that it's easy to replace, but it's it's more easy to replace than a, like a corner. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, um, I think Justin Simmons. Simmons is a 